<laughs> what day is it? It is Sunday, JJ McKee. It Sunday. is our very first Sunday from one of the parks. We've yes. never been in a Walt Disney World park on a weekend. So let's so see if they'll exciting. let us in. <laughs> well, they should. We paid for it, right? I hope so. <laughs> Alrighty. One of these days, we got to get that new card. Oh, yeah. All right, guest entrance is here in the center and left-hand side. All passengers is on the left, so it'll be a little less crowded, possibly. Possibly. You want to go oh, for it? No, okay. it's all busy. Thank you so much, Good Oh, we're blue. All right. Yours went green? Yeah, I was like, you don't mind. There you go. Thank you. I was like, they're going to let you in, but they're not going to let me in. Enjoy streaming today, honey. <laughs> Denied, says Jeff Davis. <laughs> 111 likes already. Thank you so much, everybody. We sincerely appreciate that. It's awesome. Thank you. Blah, blah. Access granted. So hello, everyone, and welcome to Hollywood Studios. We are here today on our very first Sunday live stream ever. Like we normally would just do uh, week or weekdays, excuse me. Uh, this is our very first weekend. We did get to upgrade our pass uh, right around May 4th uh, was when we were able to upgrade our pass because it was our renewal date. Uh, so ever since then, we have had access to the parks on the weekends. This is the very first weekend since that point, so we're very much looking forward to that. You want to show the Chinese theater behind us, and then yeah. we'll good. turn the camera back around. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Let's enjoy a beautiful day at Hollywood Studios today. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, the fingerprint scanner is kind of the bane of a lot of our existence, so. <laughs> hey, thank David. You. Thank you, Andrew, and hey, David. All right, let's turn around and enjoy our day at Hollywood Studios. Yes. Here we go. rock star look today. It's just really sunny. I say as a cloud covers the sun. Love the ambiance at uh, Hollywood Studios. Great music. How bad is the Starbucks line, I wonder? Uh, outside of the Starbucks right now. Oh no. That means not good. <laughs> so we've actually never been to Hollywood Studios this early in the day either, so it'll be really interesting to see what characters we come across and other things like that as we go about our day. Actually, we did go live about this early uh, on Thursday, but we went straight to uh, the Star Wars store, the special edition Star Wars store, and then went into about two, so. Today, it is all of Hollywood Studios that we will be enjoying. Yes. Hey, Sierra. Hey, hey Mystic Sarah. Parks. Hey, Mystic Parks. Hey, Eddie. Oh my goodness, anytime we have an opportunity to ride Rise, we definitely do. We're Absolutely. gonna be keeping an eye on wait times and where we're at and see what we can get on. You want to take a selfie with Mr. Super what? Suit? Frozen! Hey, Sabrina. Oh my goodness. It's Frozen, everybody. Oh, I, I appreciate you keeping us cool, Frozen. We appreciate that very much. Oh, there we go. We're very glad you remembered your Super Suit this time. <laughs> it was in the closet. You didn't have to look for it this time. Good, good. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank Frozen, you, Frozen. Everybody. That was awesome. 
Literally so cool. Mr. Super Soup. Oh, sorry about that. That you're going that way. All right. Oh wow, the. Uh, I was just looking for any other characters out and about, but I think Prism's the only one in the area right now. Right. It looks like Lightning Lane is outside of the building Ooh. for Runaway Railway right now. No, when you see Lightning Lane is that long, you know your regular line is going to be tremendously long. Yep. So we'll make our way further into the park. I'm kind of curious about whether or not they're still selling the uh, limited edition giant lightsaber that we picked up on uh, Thursday. Oh yeah, we can pass by the Stage 1 store. Yeah, let's go check out Stage 1. Hey Spectro. Hey Robloff. Hey Becca. Yeah, we have a tendency every now and again to lose signal right over here because of yes. the uh, Chinese theater. We'll see how it holds. Hey Marcella. This is what I hate. Yeah, uh, it totally depends on the weekend. Sometimes, uh, depending on the time of year and everything, sometimes weekends aren't that bad when it comes to crowd levels, actually. One of the things about the weekends is uh, if you don't have one of the upper echelon passes, uh, you may not be able to get in. So, like, uh, what was our case? We had the Pixie Pass, the lowest end uh, Florida resident uh, annual pass. Uh, up until recently, so we weren't able to get in on weekends, and we know there was a large population of people with that pass, so the weekends were a lot quieter uh, in the down times of the year. And honestly, it's a little busy today, but it's really nothing compared to what Thursday was. <laughs> oh, yeah. May the 4th day was wild. And that was a Thursday, so. Yes. We did not get an Olga's Cantina reservation on Star Wars Day, Andrew. Olga's Cantina was uh, very much not available. Um, numerous days leading up, we checked it, but uh, we couldn't find a reservation for it. So we just enjoyed Batu as a whole. Got a helicopter flying over us. Am I silly in thinking that I don't remember so many helicopters and uh, airplanes flying over uh, Disney in the past? Well, maybe the weekend is a little bit more because of the tourist helicopters. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. I just barely saw a glimpse of Goofy and Caroline Max as they went backstage. Oh, they left? Yep, so they'll probably be back out later on in the day. Oh yeah, they'll be back out in no time. So that'll be something cool to do later. <laughs> we do think Kylo Ren thinks it's funny, Charlie Orlando. Absolutely. Did the $400 flashlight make it onto the mantle yet? So, um, sort of. Well, uh, it's, we have it with us. Yeah, we have it with us. The box is on our coffee table. It's pretty much the length of our coffee table. Uh, so, yeah, we've, we've, got the, uh, we've got the lightsaber with us today. And we're gonna enjoy the day here. I'm just looking over at Muppet Vision 3D. I've never seen people waiting to get in there. I think they're, they're just not, not sure they're what they're doing. They're just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know where to park their strollers and such. That makes sense. So I don't think stage one is open. Let's go see. Well, when in the entrance be on this side? The entrance is right there. Oh. And there's uh the doors are closed. Which has me a bit concerned there. Oh no, Tiki Man fan Tim says we came in at 480p, so make sure you're all on 1080p, folks. And you might as well make sure that the live button is red while you're at it. Thank you so much, Tim. Yes, if the uh, if the live indicator is anything but red, go ahead and refresh so that it can become red again. Oh no, they're closed. So I'm assuming that any merchandise that was in here is now in Batu. Yeah. That's my thought there. So you want to head towards Batu? Sounds good. Thank you so much, Marty M. 
So yeah, we won't be going back into the Muppet store. It looks like it looks like they are closed. So guys, if you don't know, that was stage one. This is falling. Is it? Yeah, I fixed it. Thank you. So that was stage one. That is the Muppet store. Inside, uh, there were all sorts of really neat Muppets props and things like that that we took a look at during Star Wars Day on Thursday because it had opened up for the first time in years to accommodate the limited edition merchandise for May the 4th. Shield 626 says, I'm really debating another Savi, Saber, or Droid. Well, that's awesome. Uh, if you already have a Savi Saber, a droid sounds like a really neat accompaniment with that. If you already have both, well then. <laughs> oh, is this stuff I was Shannon said? <laughs> well, Shannon, we were like there 20, like all day Thursday. <laughs> but we didn't get an opportunity to get on rides. I do no. wonder what the wait is today, right now. Yeah, we'll take a look at Rise of the Resistance, see if uh, it's got a uh, decent enough wait time. If it's around an hour or anything like that, we can certainly wait for it. Thank you so much, Marty M. And thank you, JJ Mickey. Thank yes, you, guys. Yes, guys, we have a P.O. box, and it's officially listed on our description, and uh, JJ Mickey just put it there in the chat. Finally. Finally. <laughs> it took us a while, but we got there. So guys, much like Ron, feel free to send us your um, no, good mail, bad mail, just no uh, bills. No bills, yes. no bills. Hey, Mark. Good to see you, Mark. So Tiki Moon, uh, Tim, we have one lightsaber. That's a really good sign so far, unless Rice is down. Hey, free popcorn. It's also a good sign, pulling scrap metal at Savi's workshop. Oh yeah. yeah. We've got a, that one's really neat. We've got a really heavy one in the backpack right now. Uh, we sure uh, it's heavy and not light. Oh yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's on the heavy side. Don't know, uh, don't know which side that really leans on, you know? It's, uh, we picked up the one on Thursday, the limited edition one. So don't that's, know what you're no? It's uh, Cal Crestus. What's uh, what's going on with that one there? You've got. What? That's back just a blunt. Back, right. back scratcher. Back scratcher. Back scratcher. Anybody have a back scratcher? It's <laughs> a different type of back scratcher. All right. So rice says 90 minutes. I don't see the line outside. Do you want to go ahead and go, go for it? Yeah. Let's do it. We can go for it. Um, right, so let's go. You gotta be careful not to walk. That is true too much close to like the wall. Yeah, uh, so we've got the lightsaber, which is two feet tall, and we've got the blade as well, the lightsaber blade sticking out of the backpack right now. That in and of itself is three feet tall, so compounded with my own height, I've just got to be careful with going through doorways. It is a beautiful day. It's a little warm. A little warm. It says it's 84 degrees. Uh, it feels hotter than that, but all I, right. Well, it's not the, that's not the feels like temperature. That is true. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. What? 90 no way. minute wait. No way. I would stand in line for rise all day long if it this was is amazing. this short of a wait. If you guys ever see the queue like this for a rise, don't hesitate if you want to ride this ride. Yeah, the only exception would be if somehow the lightning lane is still sticking out of the building. Oh my goodness. Can we do like back-to-back -back Rise of the Resistance? <laughs> well, don't, I mean, it might be filled later. That's true. This is amazing. Look at this. No, oh, oh, I told you. I walked through a doorway. <laughs> what is this? 90 minute wait. That's silly, Disney. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've never, never seen that line so empty. This is fantastic. This is, this is absurd.
Well, we won't be waiting in this room. Another doorway. All right. Figured it. Oh my goodness, another one. Just no one. Right now. Uh, I think everyone saw 90 minutes for Rise and they were scared away. By 90 minutes? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> this is incredible. Calistoga says it must be a trap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do think it's a trap. Alright, I think we're catching up on the line. Or not. Oh my goodness, what is this? So the line begins in the last room of the armory. We That's found the line. Gotta be the most absurd thing I've ever seen. That was amazing. Yeah, Robola, it might have been down and just reopened. Yeah, John says, if I see a ride for 90 minutes, I won't go to that ride. Well, I mean, Rise of the Resistance is typically over 100. Yeah, I mean, if you see Rise of the Resistance around an hour, hour and a half, it's probably worth it. Oh, that's a good point too, Eric. Everybody went to bed after watching Ron. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> exactly, Sierra. This is, like, wow, amazing. Tim Tiki Man fan says, now you're exhausted from walking the length of the queue. <laughs> I don't think so. I think that pumped us up. That was exciting. Like, okay, are they around this corner? Nope. <laughs> How about around this corner? Nope. Me too, Christina. I'm like, what? Rise of the Resistance? Like, amazing. This never happens. So we are here in the last room of the armory before Rise of the Resistance. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've got maybe, maybe at most uh, like 10 minute wait ahead of us. It just depends on lightning lane, really. It does depend on lightning lane, yep. Company Com says, turn back, it's a trap. Completely agree, Mystic Parks, Galaxy's Edge is so cool. Absolutely, Eric. And it's like, May the 4th was our first time celebrating May the 4th here at Hollywood Studios last Thursday, and it was just so cool with the lightsabers and everything. Exactly. Hey, <laughs> Stephanie. Michael says everyone is watching the Muppets. <laughs> well, there were quite a few people around the Muppets. That there was. True. There was quite a few folks around there. They are probably really hot here in the middle of the day, and they're looking for some air conditioning and yes. a seat. Marty M says, did you look online for a lightsaber case? So Marty M, we ended up uh, ordering a fishing rod case that should be arriving soon. Yes. Uh, and that we will use instead of carrying around this large box. Uh, the lightsaber itself uh, breaks down and fits inside of our backpack. So I think we're probably going to stick with that. The resistance is not feeling it today. <laughs> hey Roger. Well, we enjoy having you here. Thank you. Felix says, maybe too good to be true, park hoppers. Beware. 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 Shale says, we caught Rise as a walk-on last year, right up our close. Yes, that's yeah. uh, sometimes your best option is right uh, as the park closes. Yes. Should I push the button? Yeah, push the button. Push the button. It's still, it's still flashing blue. I, I can't make it stop flashing blue. I think you broke it. I broke it? Are they buttons or no? No, no. They're just panels. Oh, so it's not buttons, guys. Nope. It looks like buttons, though. It does look like buttons. Sierra C777. Uh, yeah, the lightsabers at Sabi's workshop do come with that black case still. Shannon says, lightsaber fishing rod. We might be onto something here. I smell fishy money. <laughs> A 
a welcome and fries for me. We use Streamlabs. It is our only option here on uh, iPhone. Well, Spectro, thank you, but we really can't take uh, responsibility for that idea. I think uh, that came up yesterday, in the, or not yesterday, but Thursday in the chat. Someone oh, recommended yes. it to uh, us. It was Steve. Was it Steve? Steve it, F? Steve F uh, told us, hey, why don't you guys consider a fishing rod for a case? And we're like, that's ingenious. So it thank really you is. so much, Steve F. Okay, so we uh, picked up a fly fishing rod case. And uh, we'll be using that to protect the blade. Definitely. Hey, Leanne Stewart. Hey, Leanne. New subscriber. Thank, well, thank you, you so much. much. Came from Ron's page. Awesome. We go to Disneyland all the time and are huge Disney fans. Oh, that's fantastic. We would thank love you to so make much for. Oh, sorry, you go ahead. We would love to make it out to uh, Disneyland one day. It looks really awesome out there. But yes, thank you so much for subscribing. We sincerely appreciate it. And thank you for coming over from Ron's. Yes, thank you so much, Leanne. For anybody who well, is watching who wasn't a part of uh, Ron's stream earlier, he did a 24-hour live stream. Uh, so definitely go check that out at some point, guys. It was a lot of fun. Hey, Micah. We are almost on Rise of the Resistance, everybody. That was a really short wait. And um, fries for me, yeah, it just depends on which, um, Oh, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, just uh, every streamer has a different preference of what app they use to stream their live streams. Yeah. So it all just depends on personal preference. It does. Aloha, Jax. Thanks for being here. Aloha. There you go. All right there from you. I feel like I need to crouch down a little bit for this doorway. Hey Dave, welcome in and thank you so much for subscribing. We appreciate that. Thank you so much, Dave. Hey Marcel. Hey Marcel. This is amazing. This is like a walk on for rice. What's wrong? I'm just crouching down and I No, you're making so it worse. Am I making it worse? Stand up taller. <laughs> we have a case coming for it today sometime. So hopefully that makes it better. We're like, tell them this should work. Yeah. And then we stuck the, the hilt part in this part, because that fit. And unfortunately, this thing just, just stays all, right, all together. Sounds good. Let's do it. We've never gone. Have we ever gone this way before? Yep. I, I don't think we have. You want to turn around? Yeah. So welcome in, everybody. If you're new here, we are Eric and Monica. We're the Car Coppers. We're about to get on Rise of the Resistance. Uh, we go live from the parks here in the Walt Disney World area several times per week. Uh, we've been live four days this week. This is our fifth day if Sunday is considered part of the previous week. Uh, but, you know, we, uh, we love going uh, to Walt Disney World here and we love being able to take you guys along with us. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. It really does help us out. Let's enjoy the rest of the resistance. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
Resistance team, led by my friend Finn, has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer that is now headed to the system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pakara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Line up and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the Force be with us. Commander Poe Tamron and a squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on the car. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the General. Stand clear. Dead doors opening now. What I'd like to know is how does this keep happening? We keep ending up at a secret base and the First Order keeps finding it. Bobby the cat. Let's go, everybody. Let's go quickly. We gotta get on that mission. Yes, I just want to be sure that the all our crews must be on board now. Transport is away in 30 seconds.
out of this stuff. It's okay, Lieutenant Beck, you tried your best. say thank you to the First Order, but, uh... You think you want to join the First Order? You think I want to what? Join them. Oh, no, I, I don't want to join them. No? I might be trying their patience by being too polite. <laughs> hey, Ernest. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Ernest. Hey, G-Walt. Hey, Walt. Darth Maul's the boss, huh? Thank you so much, Isabel. Thank you, Isabel. Isabel also came over from Ron and just subscribed. Oh, great. So it's great stream. Gomini was saying, don't tell them anything. Great news, Gomini. I still have no idea where the secret base is. We're there all the time, and I cannot remember where that secret base is. <laughs> Marty Ham's like, nothing wrong with being polite. 8663 is, <laughs> I was just thinking that, Eric. Good afternoon, Autumn and Eeyore. Hey, Autumn and Eeyore. I think the right side was going much, much faster. I think that's a possibility. But do we really want to just race our way into interrogation, or do we want to take it easy before we get interrogated again? Hey Paul. Hey Paul. Tim says, it's best not to know anything up front. I'm really good at that. <laughs> the really fun part, Tim, is sometimes I know things, and then other times it's gone. <laughs> So guys, if you've never seen Rise of the Resistance before, that was the first part of the ride, which is kind of a pre-show of sorts. Uh, we're about to get on the ride. We're getting sorted uh, for our ride vehicles. We'll be interrogated, and then we'll be making our way on it. Oh no, Andrew, don't tell us that. is doing 16 hours on Saturday? What?
Oh, right. Egg 663. All day uh, smugglers run. I didn't say thank you this time. Take that first order. I didn't say thank you. Alright, we're moving in. We're moving up. Moving up. We are blue today. No resistance spies. When this interrogation cell door opens, I will be calling each unit in by the color that I've just assigned to you. Are we done? Are we done? Do you know what color you're standing on? Hey, Leo. Good. Now, if you're wearing a bag, anything on your back, around your waist, or over your shoulders, take it off at this time and put on it on your hands. Blue and red into the cell, find your colors on the left. It's always so difficult to see the color on the floor. Inside the transport and supervise your children. What the? Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Turn right. <laughs> Approach. Oh, no. 
loop droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not operating any TV. everybody that was uh the fastest we've ever gotten on and off rise of the resistance I yeah think, ever that was amazing it was a lot of fun always is let's stand over here sounds good to me what can i do hold the gimbal if you don't mind yeah thank you Hope you guys enjoyed Rise. What did you guys think? Like, no wait time, a walk on? What? Unheard of. I, I mean, it's a walk on if it's a 30 minute wait, but we waited maybe 10. That was crazy. David's like, woo, we all made it. We all made it. We're okay. 
Oh, thank you, Beaker and Honeydew. Yes, guys, we are streaming on 1080p. Make sure your settings are set to 1080p and uh, your red, your live icon is red. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. So, after that uh, narrow escape from uh, the Star Destroyer and uh, the drop back to Batsu here, I don't know, I'm feeling a coffee. You want to go get a coffee? <laughs> Uh, did you? Well, we're in Batu. too. I thought you wanted to see the savers. Oh yeah, we can we can check that out. But uh, yeah, let's... hey, Todd. Hey, Kawaii Kitty. Hey guys. So we'll wrap around. We'll see if we can uh, see if those are still for sale, and we'll make our way around towards uh, Toy Story Land. <laughs> Todd is like. Wait till Ron sees your walk on. Right? Hopefully Ron's getting some rest on the ride back home. <laughs> Hopefully. Howdy family adventures. Welcome in, Chris. Hey, Chris. And David, like for the wait times, um, it's really helpful to look at the My Disney Experience app, but um, once you see a ride that you really want to ride and the wait time looks good, what we tend to do is we go and actually see the line to see if it's pretty accurate or not. Yeah. And you could usually tell depending on whether the line is outside of the queue or inside. Yep. And That's can, really helpful. And if you take a look at the lightning lane uh, entrance, if there's lightning lane that you can visibly see, a lot of times that's going to be a problem as well. So both of those are factors uh, to keep in mind when you're looking at getting on a ride. <laughs> Dave's like, Rise is still showing 50. Yeah. I mean, that's really not that bad for Rise. That's really not. Um, Chris Addy Family Adventures says, Erica Marco, will you be in the park next, week next weekend? We hope to be. We hope to be. Absolutely. We haven't figured out our set schedule just yet, but as soon as we do, we will definitely be posting it out. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that is crazy, Nick. Probably egg. And yeah, I guess it still kind of is Star Wars weekend in a lot of ways. Let's see. I would assume that it would be Doc Ondar's. Stop when there's like a bug. Oh, line. I'm sorry. You want some water real quick here? Sure. All right. Uh, I want water. Makes sense to me. Do you want water? Sounds good to me. Well, that'd be great, Chris. Thank you. Oh, Neam H, we hope that you get to feeling better. Feel better, Neam. What store did you think had it? If any, maybe Doc Ondar's. I'm missing a quick stop here. Yep. Well, thank you so much for hitting the like button. We really appreciate that. Did you ever notice this inside here, this part? I don't think I have. Oh, it's just like the, the butcher area. Interesting. I sent you to the butcher shop? I think so. It's a little messy in there, I don't know. <laughs> we have not gotten a chance to try the Ronto Raps yet, Nathan. Sounds good, Bobby the Cat. We hope you enjoy lunch. 200 likes. Thank you so much, everybody. We really appreciate that. That's awesome. This is certainly interesting. Let's see if I can get it focused on something other than the... There we go. Hey, Desiree. Desiree says, hello, Park Hoppers. Ron finally ended his 24-hour live stream, and I saw you two were live, so I just wanted to pop in and say hi. 
Well, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Welcome thank in. you, Desiree. And yes, Ron did just end his 24-hour live stream very, very recently at about 12:40 uh, p.m. EDT. Your lightsaber is a dangerous thing. Is it? I, I think it's tipping over a little bit. Well, let me see if I can fix that then. Let's see here. This would be Step a cool right photo, in. but I guess not really. I'm gonna sit you guys down for a second, see if we can get that fixed. That doesn't look very cool. I'm gonna turn it what around. What happened? Okay. Yeah, yeah, turn it around. Hey, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, I might be able to tighten that up some. I mean, it's as good as it's gonna get. I was just telling you I was gonna fix it for you, that's all. Thank you. All right. Oh, Jeff says the Ronser after is so good. We'll definitely have to give them a try soon. All right. And we'll turn it right back around, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, enjoy your meal, Bobby. Uh, Beaker and Honeydew say awesome shirt, Eric. Well, thank you, Beaker and Honeydew. It's one Monica got for me. What store did you think had it? I think Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, if anything. Which is this one right here? Yep, exactly. Oh, thank you so much, Neon. The inspector says, love those aviators, Eric. Again, those, that's uh, something else Monica got for me. You don't have to give me credit for everything you're wearing. <laughs> well, it is true. Right here. I actually don't know that there's anything I'm wearing that you didn't get for me. Hi. Well. Do you guys have any of the May the 4th uh, merchandise available on Batu? Yeah. So we have the Okay. And that the lightsaber is in here. So we don't carry the Calcastus saber anymore, like the when in addition with that yeah. one you no know, longer sell. Someone sold out? Yes. Oh, okay. So Good that enough. that's what we were curious about. Yeah, we have a lot of other things. This is Dak Condor's going to be a lot of that. And do you have any of the May the 4th merchandise still left as well? So, um, we're having things that say May 4th, but we never really had anything on the suit, but it's everything we introduced that day, which we have as well. I caught it. Yeah. Black Spire Day, okay, sorry. <laughs> but if you're looking for what's up, it's like May 4th, um, most of that will be elsewhere. Oh, okay. They still had, um, like, the kids in the shirt that said May 4th. That one, they still had a Tatooine Trader, Star Tours gift shop. Oh, okay. For anything that says Black Spire Day, that's what it's referring to. That's what all of our products on YouTube will say during the Gotcha, and then the Cal Kestis lightsaber sold out. Yes, gotcha. I think it's also sold out online. Yes. Oh, okay, awesome. That's what we wanted to know. Thank you so Thank much, you. Alyssa. Very good. All right, guys. Let's go see the Millennium Falcon. Let's do it. So yeah, that's what we wanted to know. That's pretty, um, a lot of information. It is. Cal Kestis lightsaber is sold out in the parks, guys, and online. It is. I'm really glad we got one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was thinking because I wasn't sure how quickly it would sell. Uh, at first, I was thinking it would sell out. But uh, when we went back into the store later on that day and I saw so many, I figured, well, it might be around for a few days, but not Sunday. Oh, okay. Yep. We got a super chat from Todd. Five dollars says Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Todd. Thank you so much, Todd. We really appreciate that. Thank you for the five dollars super chat. We do seriously appreciate it, Todd. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, the lightsaber. Uh, yeah, they had I think fifteen hundred in the park, and the rest were sold out online almost immediately. Uh, so yeah, there were twenty five hundred in total. 
At four hundred dollars each, yeah, that's that's like what three million dollars in lightsabers. I was yeah. like, you have your sunglasses. I want to protect my eyeballs as well. Makes sense to me. Hey, Cody. Hey, Zaya. Hey, Christopher. Oh, blathering, uh, blathery skate was also was that who you're responding to about three million? I think so. Let's gotcha. See. Uh, no, it was Jeff Davis who said, think, uh, think about that, they sold 2,500 cow lightsabers at $400 each, that's a million dollars in a day. Yeah, and but Disney makes, you know, I, yeah. uh, they're not concerned about money. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, $3 million is very little money to Disney. Uh, it, yeah. While it would be a ridiculous amount of money to people like us, it's, it's, yeah, it's a drop in the bucket there. But, oh, there were 2,500 in the park, okay. So a million dollars in the park and $2 million in shop Disney. That's pretty crazy. Hey, Jay Harry. Hey, Jay Harry. All right, so thank you again so much, Todd. We really appreciate the super chat. Guys, we also, if you are interested, we have memberships available. And uh, we do have a Patreon. Oh, hey, Candice. We do. Hey, Candice. All right, we're going to turn it around and continue enjoying Batu. Sounds good to me. And guys, I know we were having some confusion about how uh, to get the memberships going and everything, how to join the memberships. Last time we talked on Thursday. Since then, we've added a link to the description for it. Uh, that'll simplify it quite a bit. I see Chewbacca. Oh, do you want to go to the... Um, Chewbacca and Ray are out. Towards the Kylo Ren ship afterwards? Sure. Is something happening here? Chewbacca and Ray are out. Oh, Chewbacca and Ray? Well, that's cool. Oh, and the Rebel Spy. And the Rebel Spy. Well, not Rebel, I guess, but... Uh, yeah, she's a spy. Yeah. But Rebel, or...? I don't know. Resistance. Resistance Spy, I think. She's a spy. I mm -hmm. know that much. Chewy, uh... It has a little bit of a bad hair day going on. Sure, he never has a bad hair day. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Low water pressure for sure. <laughs> Chewbacca trying to figure out where that steam is coming from. Tiny Millennium Falcon? No, there's something I saw, I learned today. What's that? Right over there. On the ship, it's tiny. On the ship, it's tiny, okay. I just kept having these. All right, anyways, um, right here. You see that panel that has like six little circles? If yeah. you look at that middle up one, it's the um, TIE Fighter. Oh, it is a TIE Fighter. That's 
That's really cool. Good eye, honey. Hey, you guys see that middle uh, switch there? On the top. In the top center? It's a tiny TIE fighter. That's a pretty neat Easter egg. And then over here. Hey, hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. Yeah, it's right under here, guys. It's the tiny Millennium Falcon. There's a tiny Millennium Falcon hidden away underneath the Millennium Falcon here. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, guys. We know that a lot of people had been uh, asking for that uh, tiny Millennium Falcon on yeah. May the 4th, so we wanted to make sure that we showed you guys. It's just, it's hard to see at nighttime. It's exactly. much easier to see during the day. Becky hey. Plus Eli. I'm sorry. They used to have that mini Falcon for sale in Batu. Really? That's really cool. That is really cool. Great to see you, Becky and Eli. It's so cool having the Millennium Falcon here. But yeah, so that tiny Millennium Falcon is right here, underneath the uh, the main cabin kind of area there, the cockpit. Are you done with your water? I am. You want me to hold yours? Can you hold mine for a second? Yeah. I was gonna put it on the railing, but then uh, I got nervous in my car. Right there. It's at Disneyland too, that's awesome. Why can't I find it on my camera? Oh, there it is. I can't get a really good photo of it. No, it's not something that's easy to get a shot of. Well, that's really good to know. Bothering Botherskite says Lando had modified the Falcon, the front of the Falcon with an escape pod originally. Oh, but originally the space between the front forks was meant to hold shipping containers. Oh, so this area right up here was for uh, holding shipping. That makes sense, because it's a freighter, right? Oh, Becky Placida, I say, yeah, a few people know that these Falcons are the first life-size ones ever built as the Falcon of Films were small sets and small dioramas. They were. Oh, that's a really cool fact. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, welcome in CNM Custom Signs in the house. Hey, CNM. Uh-oh. Tim, Tim, What's happening? Tim Tickenman fan says there's another one. Oh, is there really? Do you know where the other one is, Tim? I think, didn't we show it one somewhere else? We tried to find I one. I thought it was in that circle over there. Yeah, we tried to find one over there, uh, the Batmobile we tried to find over there. No, we don't have the Batmobile. I think the Batmobile thing is in Disneyland. I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure where else a, uh, another hidden <laughs> Millennium Falcon would be. Andrew says, and then build the mini uh, Falcon on it. Oh, that's very true, Andrew. You can use your uh, Magic Band Plus to ignite uh, different parts of the Falcon here. Well, that's cool. To interact with it. All right, guys. With all that being said, hey, Kitty, welcome in. It's so cool how you, you can just walk right up to the Millennium Falcon now. Hey, 
All right, let's go check out Kylo Ren's shuttle on our way over to Toy Story Land. Do you want to take a quick picture here? Okay. Yeah, Baker and Honeydew, it's it's way too easy to uh, just... If they had benches and stuff out here, that would be it. <laughs> if they had benches and fans around the Millennium Falcon, I don't think... Uh, I think there's a lot of people that would just never leave. It would be a great spot to just sit down and enjoy. Everyone else has watched history filled with nothing but Disney videos. I think so. I do think that uh, IPR watched history as well. It's just unreal how uh, few people there are here compared to Thursday. Any more water? No, thank you. And here is Kylo Ren's ship. It is. You almost couldn't breathe in this area of the park uh, on Thursday. There were just so many people. It's crazy how empty it is now. You said me? Oh, uh, well, just anybody. Oh. Not, like, there were just so many people here on this side of the park. Oh, gotcha. I thought you were specifically saying me. I was like, oh, no, what happened? I yeah. don't remember. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, Daryl Moore. Hey, Daryl. Happy Sunday. Yeah, Ron's 24-hour stream. That was, that was quite something. Once again, guys, if you don't already know, uh, Ron just finished up his 24-hour stream a little bit ago. Uh, looks like uh, about an hour and a half ago. And uh, in that time, guys, he started off at Magic Kingdom. Uh, walked around some resorts all night and came back to Magic Kingdom the next day. 12.25 to about 12.40, so he went for a little over 24 hours. Really an impressive thing, guys. If you haven't checked it out, you should. I'm gonna go and... Uh... I was hoping to get a picture. Gotcha. And um, if you're on the Star Cruiser, this is where you Go off, go on planet. Yeah, this is where the Star Cruiser makes a landing. Uh, well, sends you out to uh, Batu. Justin Frank says, "When's Park Hopper's 24-hour stream?" I, uh, you know. Um, well, we're not nearly as uh, we don't have as nearly as many subscribers as Ron does. So there you go. There's that. Tie Fighter Echelon says, "Leo, thank you." All right. Okay. Ron's like, wait, you don't? I know, Ron. We're trying. We're trying. Ron, at what point? And Ron, what is he? What's Ron still doing awake? No, no, no. He doesn't sleep, but he does need to recharge his batteries. Oh, okay. He needs to recharge. Droids. Are you at least resting, Ron? Hopefully. Here's some droids on your right hand side. That is also true. Well, they're quite talkative. Never seen them so talkative. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Jeff Toby says, yeah, why or how are you still awake, Ron? Hey, Lycan. Hey, Lycan. All right, guys, so we're taking a trip out of Batu, making our way towards Toy Story Land. There are a lot of uh, photo pass photographers around in Batu. And right around the corner from Batu, as everyone knows, is Andy's backyard. <laughs> Once you uh, return to Earth through this uh, route, you actually return to Earth the size of a toy. It's really a strange phenomenon. Uh, we haven't really been able to figure it out just yet. Uh, spending a little bit of time in Toy Story Land and then making your way out, you do start to get back to your normal size. But I do think every time you come back from about two, you might lose an inch or two. It's really strange. The space, you know. Oh my goodness, considering it was a walk-on for Rise of the Resistance, alien swirling saucers right now is certainly not. That's a long way for aliens swirling saucers. It is. Andy's backyard is a secret mission in uncharted territory. Now, good luck and have fun. <laughs> space compression, says David. That might be the case. Andy's backyard with no shade. Yep, Marty on. Exactly. I'm sorry guys, chat's doing this weird thing where when one person says something, they say it about eight times. Let's see. Let's catch up here. Ron said, I'm one with the parks. The parks are with me. That's very good, Ron. I think, uh, I think Ron is finally starting to rest and calm down after his 24 hour stream there. Run runs on Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh, that's new. Oh, Ron's cooking right now. Well, what are you cooking, Ron? You're gonna hang on to it, okay. You wanna go see uh, what the wait time's like over at uh, Midway Menu? <laughs> Cooking a bowl of chicken. Hey, Matt to the bone. Hey, Matt to the bone. Oh. Yeah, we may need to end up refreshing at some point in order to uh, be able to read the chat better. Well, we found the people. Oh, here comes Woody and Jesse. I assume they're going to their photo opportunity here. I think so. So guys, if you want to meet and take a photo with Woody and Jesse, this is the spot to do it. Hi, 
Do you smell what the ROM is cooking? All right. Look, there's the Roundup Rodeo. There is the Roundup Rodeo. It smells pretty good. The barbecue? Okay, okay. First rule of being a sheriff, never turn your back on a dinosaur, unless it's Rex. Buzz Lightyear is also here. This is where he meets, and you can see the line for him is quite long. Yeah. <laughs> hey, partners, you see All right, I think Chad completely froze on me, so I'm going to go no. ahead. No? Uh, last message is Tyler saying nice job. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, I would like to uh, go ahead and refresh it real quick. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Guys, bear with us just a moment. We're gonna induce some lag. We're going to refresh it for just a second here so that uh, we can get the chat Why don't we do it in the, the shade so we okay. can see the phone a little bit. Sounds good. It's just that sun is very, very hot. It is. And the glare is bad. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we should be back. Yes, like Beaker and Honeydew said, please make sure your live button is red and not gray, or you will be in the past. If it is gray, go ahead and refresh, and you should be back live with us. Momentary. Do you want to see how bad uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is now? What house are you And by the way, if you guys are looking for that Jack Jack cookie, it can be found here at the market. And right across the market is the Joffrey's um, location here at Hollywood Studios. Absolutely. And thank you, Marty M. We certainly might here soon. Thank you, Marty M. Breeze feels very nice. I certainly hope that the Voyage of the Little Mermaid returns. That'd be great. It hasn't returned since uh, COVID began. Just all the shutdowns and everything. Yeah. Well, I'm not seeing much of a standby line. Hopefully, uh, we don't see the lightning either. Hey, James. Hey, Scott. Hey, guys. Just enjoying Hollywood Studios today. We uh, recently got off Rise of the Resistance, which was a walk-on. It certainly was. Amazing. <laughs> It says a 40 minute standby, what do you think? I think that is way more than that time because the okay. line is outside of the queue. Gotcha. Did you show it? I did not. I don't, well, I don't know if I did. So the line right now, guys, is just outside of the indoor queue, right over here on the uh, right side of the theater. And you've got Lightning Lane coming in right there. Yeah, especially with Lightning Lane. Fair. That's not going to be moving right now. So let's go take a look at what the uh, show times are for uh, the uh, Beauty and the Beast in Indiana Jones. Okay. 
Because honestly, at this hour, I'm not sure. Jeff Davis says, so rumor has it that the voyage of the Little Mermaid will be the new meet and greet for the live action Ariel, but it's just a rumor. That's oh, no. an interesting rumor. I hope that it opens back. I believe Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular, if I'm not wrong, begins at 2.30. 3.15 and 4.30. 3.15 and 4.30, okay. That's what the app says anyway. So I am very wrong. <laughs> uh, then Which is the, the other one you want to know? Would probably be uh, starting here in the That's next couple That's 4 at 5. 4 and 5? That's what the app says. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just going based off the app. Good enough, thank you. Because today's Sunday, May 7th, right? Yep. Yeah. So at 3.15 there will be an Indiana Jones uh, right. Epic Stunt Spectacular and at 4 o'clock there will be a Beauty and the Beast. In the meantime, uh, you want to go do Muppets? Um, yeah, because, oh, before 3.15 for Indiana uh -huh. Jones, it was 1.15. 1.15. Wow, there's a two-hour gap for that one. That's well, that's what the app is saying. No, no, no. I, I get I'm you. just saying the app's not always 100% correct. And then Beauty and the Beast before the 4 o'clock showtime was a 2 p.m. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Anthony the Motor Man. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too, David. The car stunt show back on tour. So cool. I missed the uh, great movie ride. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> Tyler, for me, The Little Mermaid, what's really weird is the uh, the fish, like Sebastian and Flounder, the real life ones that they use. I don't know, they kind of, yeah, I saw. Gotcha. They're kind of weird looking. They are. They don't, strange. like, I, I don't think Sebastian and Flounder when I see them. Marty says, have you done Muppets? Park Hoppers tradition. We do have to do Muppets. Bicker and Honeydew were like, wait, did someone say Muppets? Yes. <laughs> it is a hot, hot day today. It certainly is. Still says 84 degrees. But that's not what the feels like. No. It feels like it's very, very different from what it may say. Yeah, it probably feels like in the 90s right now. Yeah, Jeff Davis, I... Have we seen any of the live action stuff that's come out? What are you talking about? The live action movies of, uh, like, The, the Little Mermaid's not out yet. No, no, I know, but, like, in general, have we seen any of the live action movies that they've done? Because uh, I haven't seen Lion King. Or, uh... I've seen Beauty and the Beast. You saw the Beauty and the Beast one? I think I saw bits and pieces of the Cinderella one, maybe. Hey Josh. Hey Tyler. Good to see you guys. So we're making our way over to Muppet Vision 3D, which I think is technically 4D, right? Because they do bubbles and other things like that as well. 
Marty M says, Beauty and the Beast was good. I agree, Marty. I really enjoyed it. But I love Beauty and the Beast. That's fair. Jess says, I think Jungle Book and Beauty and the Beast were okay. The rest, no bueno. No, no, bueno. <laughs> no good for the rest, says Jeff. Oh, no. I haven't seen the um, Jungle Book just yet, but that one did look pretty good. It did. Oh, the pin trading board pin sits any over there. Well, I wonder if they have any Muppets pins. Oh, that'd be awesome. Take a look. Hi, friends. Welcome to Muppet Vision 3D. Oh, no, no Muppet pins. Any Muppet pins? No, it's very rare to get a Muppet pin. They, yeah. they go away fast, or we take them. And we oh, have a whole board of Muppet pins. So. Oh, that's awesome, too. <laughs> the Bird from Paris is pretty cool, yeah, though. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good show. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Kevin Crunch says Mulan was great. Oh, I didn't see Mulan yet, yet either. Hey, Cap Crunch. <laughs> the Pinocchio was meh. Meh. Me. Thanks so much. They don't have to wait for me. Wow. 
want any help? Oh, I'm sure she'll like this. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about these interruptions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Deborah. This is about ready to start the movie, so if you listen carefully, you can hear the orchestra tuning up. Hey, wait a second. Hey, you penguins can't go in there. You'll interrupt the orchestra. Scooter, these penguins are the orchestra. Come on, the chief. Come on, the still. Come on, still. Come on. Come on. Well, uh, all right. Uh, before we go in, here's Sam Eagle with some important safety instructions. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Sam Eagle, and these are some important safety instructions for you. Sam. Not now, don't Sam. Sam, this is urgent. Come here. <sighs> what? What is what? Okay. What? Yes! Really? Here? Right over there. Oh, of course, certainly. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, we have an unexpected surprise. I have the great honor of introducing the one of the only Mr. Mickey Mouse. Hello, hi there. Welcome to my pond. How are you doing? Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are not Mickey Mouse, you are a rat. Rich man. As you all go inside, you notice that every single one of our rows are going to be available. We invite you to select any of our open rows and open seats, but please keep in mind that the very top row to the far back of the theater is only reserved for guests traveling in wheelchairs and in their parties. As you all go inside, please take your time to be careful and enjoy the show. Once again, for all our friends coming in, feel free to pick any row you like, sit anywhere you'd like. The top row will be reserved for our guests in wheelchairs and ECVs. Okay.
film class photography, video editing, or cell phone usage during the show. Now, put on your special 3D glasses as Carmen in the Game proudly present Muppet Vision 3D. Please, gentlemen, 
way, folks. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, Muppet Lab seems to have been temporarily uh, sucked up. But, uh, whew, now what is that? Hey, come in. See, it's my new remote control, Banana Green Pie. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Mm. Hey, 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 come in. Watch this. What? Uh-oh. Ozzy, uh -oh. <laughs> that's terrible. You're right. Needs more sugar. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first musical portion of our demonstration, we have Miss Piggy in a wonderful 3D number. Uh, uh, that's you, penguins. <laughs> Okay, everybody, get ready. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, no, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, the Muppets proudly 
present the final demonstration of Muppet Vision 3D! <laughs> Okay, so that was my profession 3D. We totally understand Marcello, no worries. Thank you so much. And let's see here. I... Thank you so much to Sabrina B for becoming a new channel member. We sincerely appreciate that. We hope that you enjoy the emojis. All right. Somebody left their kids sitting alone. Oh no. Yeah. She caught up with her mother, but her mother let her sit like super far away from her. Weird. Well. Hello, everyone. As you enter the theater, please select the room. Sit anywhere you like. Remember that the top two 
You're good, Marty. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. That's awesome, Sabrina. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Sounds good, Marcello. Oh, I got to zoom you guys out. Freedom just makes me profoundly uncomfortable. I never sit close up front. Oh boy. All right. So once again, guys, this is stage one. This is where the uh, limited edition uh, May the 4th stuff was. It no longer is. Now it's, uh, if any of it's left over, it's spread across uh, the galaxy, all across Hollywood studios and different stores. You can find different pieces of that. Uh, but the lightsaber that we picked up is officially gone. That's good to know. It was really neat being able to go back into stage one though. The Muppet store, it's been a very long time since we've been there. <laughs> That's funny, Shan. <laughs> oh, I could go for a root beer. That sounds really nice. Sarsaparilla. Oh man. Speaker and Honeydew. They're uh, paying tribute to you guys up there on top. It's a really cool store. It's it's a shame that it's not open with like Muppets merchandise and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it would sell really fast. Like the uh, pin trading cast member up front was saying, uh, whenever they get a, whoop. I don't know what that was, but. Whenever they get a Muppet spin, it uh, it always goes really fast. So. Yeah, I was like, I wonder if they have any Muppets on the pin training, you know? Yeah. I'm not sure what we're hearing right there. I don't know what it is. Big lizard or? It must be a very large lizard. Yeah. All right. But yeah, this is the stage one Muppet show, a store that we were able to enjoy on May the Fourth. It was. It was really neat going back in there. Yes. I was like, not only is there really, really cool May the 4th merch happening right now, but like we go back in the Muppet store, what? Right? I love the little touches like, what paint? Do not touch, uh oh. And it does <laughs> say Muppet stuff up top, but there is no Muppet stuff. Oh, it does. Puppet stuff right in here. Sadly. <laughs> Sadly. Hey, DWH072, good to see you. Hey, DWH. Yes, thank you, Beaker and Honeydew. Guys, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. We are the Park Hoppers, Monica and Eric. We love park several times per week. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. It really does help us out. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. We've got about 15 minutes before the start of the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. We should probably make our way that way. Sounds good to me. What do you call that? The statue of uh, Miss Piggy? Uh, not the statue of Miss Piggy, but like the statue of Piggy? Or because it's the Statue of Liberty as Mrs. Piggy. I just a... call it the Muppets Fountain. That's fair. That makes a lot of sense. Disney Lover seventy one. Uh, so since that store is gone, where do they sell Muppet merchandise? If they have any merch, uh, well, that store's been closed for years. Yeah. For one. <laughs> yeah, if they have any Muppet merchandise, they sell it in the main stores now. If they have any. If they have any. Muppet merch is very, very rare. It is rather few and far between anymore, unfortunately. 
Exactly that 70s space. Super great day for a theme park. Oh yeah. Hey Cakes. Shannon says statue of Hamhawk, it's French. <laughs> that is fair, it is French. Jeff Davis says it's the statue of Pergerty. Oh my. Oh, in here there might be some May the 4th merch. Oh, there might be. You want to go on there real quick? Yeah. That's what they were saying, either here or just throughout the park. Gotcha. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. I think the other day I may have seen a Kingdom Hearts uh, magnet. Oh, yeah? Over in Frontierland. You know this is the first time we've been in this store? I do think so, yeah. So I'm just looking around. I'm not seeing any of the Meta 4th merch. They said, uh, I'm about to, they call it Black Spire merch. Black Spire Day? But it is May the 4th. That's true. Look how cute this shirt is. That's cute. Strong with the force. Those are some nice pajamas. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. <gasps> oh, look how cute. This is what I needed for May the 4th. It was a little Grogu shoulder pal. That's cute. Or a pork. They also have the pork shoulder pals. Those are cute. Mm -hmm. Those are a lot, those are heavier though than Grogu. This is called Nubs. I think I read something about this, actually. This was from a, uh, a ride that was coming to Galaxy's Edge that never became oh, a Oh, really? Thing. I think so. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of the uh, May the 4th merchandise. I thought maybe the pins or something would be in here, but I'm, I'm just not uh, seeing anything. All right. We'll make oh, our that's way. awesome, Ben. Hope you have an awesome vacation next month. Absolutely. And yeah, same. Uh, if you see us, please say hi. Exactly. All right, ready to head back out? Sounds good to me. Definitely no May the 4th merch in there. But a lot of really cute Star Wars merch. Oh yeah. Exactly, blathering. It's very cute. And then straight ahead you'll see the uh, Backlot Tour Express, which is a quick service here at Hollywood Studios. That's where you can get the uh, Wookiee cookie, right? I believe so. The one that's a little chewy? That's a little chewy. So guys, since there are now AT-ATs in Rise of the Resistance, does that mean there's a total of uh, three AT-ATs now in Hollywood Studios? Oh my goodness. It keeps like going crazy. Does it? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, not yet, Nutty Boo. Up here. Let's take a look. Well, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Oh, they have the Indiana Jones. Um, who is that? Oh, it's a pixie. It's oh, one it's... of Tinkerbell's friends. I get you. And then, I can't tell if that's Chipper Dale, because I can always tell by the color of the nose. Or the, or the number teeth. of teeth, yeah. <laughs> so that's a little confusing. I do like the Mickey one, the Indiana Jones, that's spectacular. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with, because of the serious face, I'm going to say that's a chip. Hm. That's my thought. Yeah, that's, that's probably the cutest one right there, these two. Yeah. 
Oh, and Beaker and Honeydew, once again, congratulations on your daughter's graduation. That's absolutely fantastic, guys. It really is. And it's a huge so, accomplishment. Yes, amazing accomplishment. And we're so glad that Cooper did well on the trip there. Yes, little Cooper. Hey, Lieutenant, good afternoon. Hey, Lieutenant. So guys, we're gonna go into Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. We're gonna find a seat in here and uh, get ready for the show. The show begins in about uh, eight minutes. Yes, and then right here is the, um, what do they call this, Oasis Canteen. We did enjoy a festive uh, holiday drink here during Christmas time. I can't remember what it was called, but it was like an old fashioned kind yeah. of, but it had like cranberry and like rosemary. I don't know, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think they just called it the Holiday Old Fashioned. Holiday Old Fashioned, that's right. That was really good. It was. Oh no, Lieutenant. Lieutenant says, we were at Hollywood Studios last night, just went to see Fantasmic. Snake is still having trouble. He didn't pay his electricity oh, bill. No. Well, we're glad you were able to enjoy Hollywood Studios last night. And Fantasmic. And Fantasmic. You're fine, you're not in my okay. way. And it says, my son is graduating high school this month. I still don't believe it. He still thinks two plus two is a front wheel drive car. Oh no. But what does he think four times four is, Shannon? Well, Shannon, congratulations. And congratulations to your son as well. Absolutely. Congratulations, Shannon. Jonathan, if we can make it, we would love to go over to the uh, Beauty and the Beast show after this, absolutely. Oh, this is a very packed stadium already. It is. Just a spot up here on the left. Oh, the yeah, I know. I just didn't know how far up you wanted oh, I to get go. You. Like maybe like right here? What do you think? Okay. Karen and Honeydew say that's where everyone in Batu is. They're at the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. I guess so. Shannon says, so glad now we can go to college somewhere two to three thousand miles away and give me a break. <laughs> oh, Shannon. should start in about five minutes. <laughs> Chef Davis says, surprise, Ron will be dropping out of the ceiling wearing Brennan's Indy hat. <laughs> and the kimono as well. Oh, hopefully not the kimono if he's dropping from the ceiling. <laughs> Unless it's his parachute or something. Should we use Brennan's uh, kimono as a parachute? Maybe his vi oh, hopefully he doesn't have his Viking head on. That sounds dangerous.
everyone. Welcome to the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. In just a few minutes, we're going to show you just what it takes to make the action-packed stunts you see on film happen right before your eyes. As you find your seats today, please make sure to move all the way in towards the center of your row. Sit tight, because we are going to get started here in just a few minutes. Shannon says, well, we're about to be an empty house now. 31, 28, 25, and an 18 year old. About time to get a chance not to drive 300 miles a week for school stuff. That's awesome, Shannon. <laughs> that may be true, Jeff. Oh, Wiz. Wiz saw us last Tuesday in Magic Kingdom in front of the Main Street Philharmonic. They were too scared to come up. By all means, guys, if you ever see us, just come on up and say hello. Alright guys, Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular should begin in just over a minute. <laughs> Shannon, really when I'm there you want to meet me? Last time I told the podcast I'd be there, they went to a different part. Oh, we didn't say we'd make it easy on you, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd love to meet you, Shannon. That'd be awesome. I would be. Hey, THJP. So uh, we live stream from the park several times per week. Uh, we are locals, and it is a Sunday. <laughs> Pierce says, Indiana Brandon hasn't replaced this show yet? I don't think yet. Hey, Pierce. Hey, JC. Hey, guys. Just in time. Hey, SoCal Imagine Travel. Hey, SoCal. Well, we hope you enjoy it. Bit of a delay, looks so.
chorus song. He was good. He was good. <laughs> They are an amazing group. 
of skilled professionals. They are the real stars that bring our version of Cairo to life. And I cannot wait for you to see them in action. Give it one more time for the Epic Stunt Team! Yes! No warm up, you all. All right, everyone on this set is a skilled professional. They're trained in their craft to embody the role they play in this dynamic scene that you're about to shoot. From heroes to villains, each actor steps into the story the minute the cameras are going, which is about to happen at any moment. But we need some help from you all. Yes, yeah, some crowd participation. And we need some help from our onset casting director, which is my dear friend, Mindy. Hey, yes. everybody. Thank you so much, yes. Michelle. All right, I'm so glad you're all here. We need you for this live film shoot. As she said, my name is Mindy. I'm the casting director here. Part of my job is to cast background talent. Today, I'm actually going to capture all of you as my background voices. Now, just so you know, we have a lot of action in this film shoot, so I'm looking for big reaction coming from all of you. Every time you see a fantastic stunt happening out here, I want you to clap and cheer and whistle, make a lot of noise. Can you do it? All right, I know you can. So, when I call action, I want everyone here to scream. Well, let's check in. Sorry, Blake, are you ready in the booth? Say I'm good to go. All right, when I call action, I want everyone here to scream as if you're standing on a trap door. It opens up and you drop into a pit filled with venomous snakes. Action! And cut! Nice, yes, that was professional. Exactly what I was hoping for. Sharp and shrill, lots of energy. Did you get that in the booth? Yes, you did. Let me see by a show of hands, how many people here have seen an Indiana Jones movie? Yeah, I'm hearing some woo, so we've got big fans. Who's looking forward to the fifth one coming out? Dial of Destiny coming out around June 28th, we're hoping. Yeah, we're excited about that. All right, so you know in addition to all of the action, there are lighthearted moments. You're a great crowd, let's capture some laughter. I want you to give me a big, goofy belly laugh. Action! Yeah, keep going. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. There was definitely an angry Santa in this section. I like that. I like it a lot. All right, I think we have everything we need. Blake, you good to go? Fantastic. You know what? Michelle, yes. background talent is ready. You are awesome, Mindy. Thank you so much. It's here for Mindy. All right, it's time for you to meet my boss and everyone's boss. Let me get her, okay? Hey, Trudy, Trudy. Yes. Can I see you for a minute? Uh, yes, be right there. Hit your marks, be safe. Let's get this in one. Folks, give it up for our stunt coordinator and our second unit director on the film set. This is Trude! Yes! Hello, everyone! All right, welcome to our set. Look at all those smiles out there. This is fantastic. We have a lot of exciting stunts to show you here today, so I say let's Get right to it. Okay, Let's Michelle. do it. Let's talk about camera work, right? Yeah, what do you got for me? Okay, wonderful. I've got camera A and B both shooting wide, just like you asked. Camera B is going to dolly with all the action. Um, camera A is going to shoot at 36 frames per second instead of the 24, giving you a nice slow motion effect. Like you like that? Wonderful. I love okay, it. Okay, great. Yes. What about that last shot? What kind of shot do you like that last shot? Uh, Michelle, I really need that to be a three quarter shot. You got it, boss. Okay. Okay, that's some great work. Woo! I like the sound of that. Hey, Ryan, how do you feel about the new whip routine? I feel great, boss. Right up. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Uh, John? Yeah. Hey, top of the scene. I need you to drive that truck around. Make sure you hit your mark, okay? Got it, boss. I love it. Thank you so much. All right, you two. Let's review. Leash, Ryan, top of the scene. You enter from behind the clothes rack into the marketplace, casually shopping, and then, as you know, the fun will begin. The questions there? Nope. We're good? Yes. Uh, I love it. All right. Hit your marks. Be safe, you two. All right, Michelle, lock it down. You got it, boss. We're locking it down. Indy Barry, ready? Stop team, are you ready? Are you all ready? Yeah. Cameras ready? Cameras are ready. Quiet on set? Quiet. Roll cameras. Rolling. Speed. Now with 16124 Apple, the Chiron counters hit one mark. Playback. Background. Action.
So I thought we would do a little demonstration. Ah, Show everybody yeah. that. <laughs> Not with me. Oh, you're hysterical. I love you both. Okay. Keep it safe. Have fun. All right. Well, let's go over those uh, takes and punches we did yesterday. You good with that? Okay. Um, Josh, I'm going to bring you right over here. I'm just going to have you stand right about there on that line. That's perfect. Um, well, you see, folks, in a fight routine, taking a punch is really just as important as throwing one. I love it. Let's do the other side. Well, you see, somebody can get hurt if you don't have the perfect timing. Nice, Josh. Oh, I'm not that impressed. That's okay. You know what? We are going to have to spice this up. Turn this way yep. and uh, roll with it. Please be folks. It takes guts, ah! coordination, ah! and a real level head. Oh, boy. Ah! Alicia, what are you? Oh. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Oh, boy. Alicia, I yes. said a simple fight demonstration. Oh, yeah. Say something, fix it. Right Got now. it. Well, obviously, something like this takes a lot of rehearsal. Or a lot of fight performers. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. No. Hey, no. John. No, leave John alone. Make sure Josh is okay. Come here. Come here. Make sure he's all Next right. time. Thank you. All right. All right. Um. Hey. Um. Josh. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Folks, give it up for two of my best fight performers, Alicia and Josh. So much. All right, go ahead and get ready for the next scene. The next scene, ah, the desert scene. Indy and Marion are trying to escape from an enemy encampment in the North African desert. John, hey John, here Indy finds himself face to face with a heavy hitting mechanic played by my stunt actor. This is John. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We, got, we got a woo. We got a woo out there, yeah. I think maybe. Okay, anyway, hey John, can you take yeah. a minute and talk to our audience about the difference in being a stunt actor like yourself okay. and stunt doubles like Alicia and Ryan? Can you come help us out for a minute? Thank you. Thanks yeah, so like Trude said, I'm a stunt actor. That means I've actually been cast in an acting role in the shoot. Hi. It also, however, means all, I still do all of my own stunts because I don't need a stunt double, which is what these two are. Uh, they're just stunt doubles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's right. As just a stunt double, it's my job to make you believe that I'm Harrison Ford. And make you think that I'm Karen Allen. Well, some stars like Harrison Ford and Karen Allen, they love doing their own stunt work, but sometimes the risk of injury is just too great. So yes, if something happens to an actual star, we could shut down the entire production. Whereas something happens to John, we just find somebody else. <laughs> so, if Harrison and I do our jobs correctly, even our own friends have a hard time telling us apart. All right, folks, I'd like to talk over a change, please. Hang on, Ryan, you know the real difference between you and her? Oh, what's that, big guy? It's like $300 million. All right. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of money, John. I like this energy. Let's save it for the scene, though, you two. All right, this mainly concerns you, Alicia, when a soldier on the hill tries to fire down an Indy. You panic, you hit the controls, start going in circles like we rehearsed. Okay. okay. And then this is where the change comes in after that first revolution. You're going to fall into the machine gun accidentally firing those rounds up into the air, okay? I like it. All right, a lot of action in this last scene. Hit your marks, be safe. Michelle, call it. Places, everyone, places! Folks, this last scene is a culmination of all the effects that you've seen so far. What you're about to watch would not be possible without the entire cast and crew working together as a team to create what we like to call the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. Right, team? Yeah, all right. Take us home, Michelle. All right, locking it down. Final lockdown. Kelly on the hill. Are you ready? Great. Special effects. That. All set. All Wonderful. Indy Marion. Cameras ready. Cameras are ready. Final set. Quiet. Roll cameras. Rolling. Speed. Helmet 16 3 Charlie does a flight. Take one mark. Flight back. Action.
Guys, that's a really cool show. That's only the second time we've seen it. Hey, when they're tripping, they'll be meaning. Oh, good question. <laughs> yeah, so the last time we were here for the Indiana Jones uh, Epic Stunt Spectacular, it was also the first time we'd ever been here. Uh, for Indiana Jones and Chippendale Rescue Rangers were meeting right underneath this uh, overhang here. It looks like they're waiting for them to return. So I don't think the Rescue Rangers are out yet. There are people waiting. Hey, Demetra, and hey, Greg Titus, good to see you. Hey guys. 
So we are off to Beauty and the Beast, live on stage. We were able to enjoy uh, Rise of the Resistance as a walk-on to start off the stream. We then enjoyed the rest of Batu before heading over to Andy's backyard. Then we did Muppet Vision 3D and uh, Epic or Indiana Jones Epic uh, Stunt Spectacular. And now we're going to head over to Beauty and the Beast Live on stage. Yes. Hey, Plymouth Rock. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Plymouth Rock. Hey, Tyler. Good to see you guys. Oh. That's Here's, a very. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say that was a very neat show, but the uh, speakers were very loud. Very loud. My ears are still ringing. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Honey. I was just gonna say here's the Hollywood and Vine. It's mini springtime dine right now. Nice. That's a buffet, guys, a character buffet, where you can enjoy your meal with the characters. There's Minnie right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's not really showing up on the... Oh, okay. But, yep, she was right on the other side of the glass there. That was really cool. Yeah, the glare is strong. <laughs> the glare is strong with this one. All right, we need to make our way to the left. Baby Groot wants to know, Monica, if you could be any Disney princess, who would you want to be? Huh. I don't know. Mulan is awesome. Uh, Belle is awesome. That's fair. Yeah, my what first are, what are the most recent Disney princesses? Uh, you've got Moana, you've got uh, Merida, uh, technically, you've got... Is Elsa a princess? Elsa's... Oh, no, she's a queen. She's like a... No, no, she's the queen. ...force of nature, isn't she? I thought uh, Anna became... Oh, oh, no, no. oh, is Anna the queen? I can't remember. I'm not really sure. Hey, Gothic. Good to see you, Gothic. <laughs> I like Shan... I'm going with Shannon's response. Monica's a princess already. Princess Bucket Hat. Princess Bucket Hat. <laughs> yes. Princess Bucket Hat, that's the one I'll go with. Thank you, Shannon. So sorry. I was very confused by where you're going. I was just trying to get off of... Uh, Why? This, well, I just don't want to get in the photograph. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Oh yeah, Tiana is also one of the newer princesses. That's true. Yeah, I love Belle. Oh, there's people on the Hollywood. They're on the Tower of Terror right now. What? There's people over on the Tower of Terror right now. The door is opened up. Oh, on the right. On we the elevator? Yeah. We yeah. open them every time. Use the stairs. Don't use the elevator. Alright guys, we're coming up on Beauty and the Beast, live on stage. Next showing is at 4 o'clock, which is in less than 10 minutes. I'm just going to get a quick picture of the uh, tower here. Makes sense to me. It's really pretty. Wendy Logan. Hey, Wendy. <laughs> All right, we can go in now. Okay. So 
service doggy. Careful with the... Uh... Thank you. Yes, exactly, Jonathan, a guide dog. All right. Other oh, side. Thank you. I'm going to take a picture right here real quick. Okay. Oh, hey, Mac Dog. Whoop. Oh, no. I've been making sure that didn't happen all day. <laughs> hey, That's Mac Dog. That's why it's in the box right now. Yeah. Disney Pal from Boston is Mac Dog's Disney branded account. Oh, Disney Pal from Boston. Very cool. Oh, thank you so much, Nutty Boo. Thank you, Nutty Boo. I'll follow you wherever you want to go. Okay. Let's see. So like right here? Wherever you want to. Okay. You want here? Yeah. You have another one? No. So you want to go one closer now? Might be an idea. Whatever you want. Okay. You want one forward? One more. True, I just try not to put the saber stick up. Gotcha. <laughs> Jim says, look up and you'll see some of the show's biggest fans. That is true. Hey, the mayor, we're at Hollywood Studios today. Hey, the mayor. You guys that did a little performance before the actual show named Four for a Dollar. That's really cool. Welcome back, Christopher and Megan. Welcome back, Christopher and Megan.
All right, guys, we've got less than three minutes before the uh, Beauty and the Beast live on stage. <laughs> Megan. One minute to go, everybody. Guys, we hope you enjoy Beauty and the Beast live on stage. And if you're new here, you're the Park Hoppers from Monica and Eric. We go live from the park several times per week. We'd really appreciate it if you'd please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us in the future. We hope you all enjoy the show. faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. She had seen that there was no love in his heart, and as punishment she transformed him into a hideous beast, and placed a powerful spell on the castle, and all who lived there. If he could learn to love another, and earn their love in return, the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope, for who could ever learn to love a beast? Bonjour. Bonjour. 
than even she and her wildest imagination could have dreamed. But through a series of strange circumstances, she found herself held captive inside a dark and foreboding castle, inhabited by a very odd collection of characters. 
master will be furious if he finds out what we're up to. Well, we don't have to tell him, do we? There is nothing to worry about. No, nothing. Just our entire future. Oh, Peter. Oh, hello there. Be our guest for dinner. We'll keep it simple. What are you talking about? What's going on? Come on, Mom. Have a long trip, dear. Oh, dear. No need to worry. We'll keep it simple. I said, do you hear me? All of you. I said, quiet! If we're going to do this, then let's do it. But of course, we must make her feel welcome. Esteemed madams and messieurs, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you. invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. to 
understand, Master. The poor girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Need I remind you that your 21st birthday will be here soon? I know that. Perhaps she has come to break the spell. Remember, you must learn to love another and earn their love in return. I know. And then we might all be human again. Yes, yes, human again. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's very good. How lovely. A human again. Wow! Oh. <gasps> oh, no. I thought I told you never to come here! I just wanted to find out what was going It's to... none of your business! Please stop, I didn't touch you. You shouldn't that. have come to the West Wing! And you should learn to control your temper! I... I can't help it. Well, how do you know if you don't even try? Uh, say something nice to her. Try to a pocket gentleman. I... I apologize. Apology accepted. That's it. Chill. Chill. Please. I, 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 I've never felt this way before. There's something sweet and almost kind. But he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. And now he's scared and so unsure. This way, I thought I saw. And when we touched, she didn't shudder at my paw. Though it can't be, I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. Against us, we'll rid the village of this beast. Who's with us? 
That was Beauty and the Beast live on stage, everybody. show guys if you're new here we're the park hoppers from monica and eric we go live in the park several times per week please consider subscribing we'd love to have you along with us in the future let's head on out of the theater here that was a good show colin about that JB. We'll get the next time. Bienvenido, Jose Chair. Good to see you, Jose. Matthew is asking, what's next on our agenda? What's next is we're going to try to find a ride to get on. As we slowly make our way out of Sunset Boulevard and head towards Hollywood Boulevard. Tanya B. I'm so sorry, I didn't see your comment. Uh, Tanya B says, Hi, Eric and Monica, this is Shannon's wife. He's so emotional right now by the show. He wanted me to thank you. He's such a drama queen, a big baby. Oh, Shannon. Well, we're really glad that you enjoyed it. And thank you, Tanya. We appreciate that, ma'am. Your husband is, uh, is well, we're very thankful by his presence. Let's, let's put it that way. He's always a hoot. Thank you.
And Tanya, if I mispronounce your name, please, by all means, uh, let me know and uh, help us out with the pronunciation. I'd really appreciate that. Greg, I'm not sure whether or not we'll be here late enough for Fantasmic tonight, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Is that Edna Mode? Well, we had Frozone, Mr. Suit Pursuit himself just a little bit ago. And now Edna Mode is waiting out here to take photographs with people. Awesome. I don't see any capes, Edna. No cape? <laughs> that was really cool. That was. Tanya's talking to JJ. She says, Shannon talks about you all the time. He's difficult to live with. Sirius doesn't seem to be his forte. He's such a dork. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today at Hollywood Studios. We're going to go and check out Mickey and Minnie's and see what the wait looks like over there. We are indeed. Let's take a look. Oh, no. That's a no, oh, though. Way worse than it was earlier. All right, you want to head on into uh, Toy Story Land? Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Can't even imagine the jokes. He must endure on a daily basis. Shannon's awesome. All right. That breeze feels quite nice. I would say Joffrey's something's really good right now, but we gotta get on a ride. We can go do Joffrey's. Can we go to Joffrey's? I'd rather not rush to drink my drink. That's fair. If we're gonna go on a ride, you know? That's true. Well, earlier we did rise because that was basically a walk on. It was. Let's see. You want to do Toy Story Mania? Sure. It says 25. 25 minutes? That's not bad at all for Toy yeah. Story Mania. Welcoming all you new toys to Andy's backyard. 
That's very kind of you, Woody, but you might want to consider uh, taking that snake out of your boot. <laughs> At least taking off the boot for now. Here's the round of rodeo barbecue. This is giddy up for barbecue. That's awesome, Baker, none of you. They say park hoppers. We were surprised when our daughter pulled a bag of coffee grounds from the freezer here in Arizona and it said Joffrey's. Oh, there's Jesse walking around. There's Woody's Jesse. right there. And Woody's right here. That's cool. That is cool. All right. What's that track? Let's see what this weight looks like. Let's go a little faster. Yep. Yeah. Lightning lane to the left. Stand by here to the right. Thanks. Thank you. I wasn't sure if you were okay. Yeah. So far, so good. I don't see lightning lane sticking out. All right, everybody, we should be back. We lagged out just as I said, so far so good back there. Oh. Yeah. That's awesome. Good to see you. Hey, Jill. Hey, Barbader. back now.
All right, guys, bear with us as we encounter some lag in the queue. If you do uh, experience any lag, go ahead and check your live indicator, make sure it's red. If it's gray, go ahead and refresh, and you should be back live with us again. says, Eric Monica, it's been a pleasure to meet both of you. Now, however, it's time for him to go find out what he's doing. If he's quiet for too long, we call EMS. Have a great day. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> that's smart. <laughs> Good luck. And thank you so much for saying hello. Thank and you, I've, is, this, is it Tanina or Tanya? We just want to make sure we get it right. <laughs> pronouncing names, I'm sorry guys. But we always try our very best to pronounce it as close to the way you would like it pronounced. Exactly. Yeah, definitely good luck with Shannon. All right guys, we should be in the next group that gets let in now. We're just patiently waiting for uh, Lightning Lane to go through. Yep. They let all of the people in Lightning Lane. <laughs> Thankfully, there weren't too many. Yeah, now it's Titan. Yay! Hey, Marcello. So, welcome back, Marcello. Tana, okay. Welcome back, Marcello. <laughs> Oh, thank you, JJ. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's pronounced... Tana? Tana? My mother, like, obviously Shannon's parents were chemically enhanced during the 60s, hence the spelling. Gotcha. Thank you so much, Tana. We will remember that next time you're in our chat. Thank you so much for being here. We hope you have a wonderful Sunday. And once again, good luck with Shannon. Absolutely. <laughs> I figured Honey is like, JJ Mickey, thanks for clarifying that. Wasn't sure. <laughs> oh boy. Guys, we are almost uh, getting on Toy Story Mania. For your safety, please remain seated. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside your game trim at all times. And be sure to keep an eye out for your little spud. Hey, Jugadores. I love how uh, Mr. Potato's head says your little spot. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, are you choking? There's like no air conditioning in this hallway. Unfortunately not. Hey Jess. Hey Jess. Good to see you too. Darth Sith shift manager. <laughs> I don't know why I said Sith. I was like Darth Sith. Hey, maniacs. Mr. Potato Head here. Oh, I thought you guys had cookies on the dark side.
So hello everybody. Hey guys. For those of you who don't know us, we are the Park Hoppers from Monica and Eric. We go live in park several times per week. We've been live uh, five times this last week, if you go Sunday to Sunday. Uh, that was Monday through Thursday and today. So guys, if you'd like to be a part of our adventures here in the future at Walt Disney World, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Uh, once again, we're Monica and Eric, we're the Park Hoppers. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button as well. We'd really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. We're going to be getting on uh, Toy Story Midway Mania here in just a couple of moments. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. If I can turn around. Yeah. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Terry. Hey, Terry. Hey, Tyler. Thank you, Terry. It's a big plug. Thank you, Christopher. Hey, Jess from Spin. Welcome in. That is a very large plug. Larger than the exit sign. For your safety, remain seated with hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. Supervise children. Hola, Jose Che. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está usted la familia esta fin de semana? Where next, guys? We're about to start the best arm workout in all of Walt Disney World. Looks all clear, Kate. Thank you. Right on in, Thanks so much, Kate. Oh, okay. Let's set this down right here. Yeah, your bag's situated. Sorry, Anna. Yeah. Well, that's situated. Do you need the glasses for the phone? I don't think so. I don't think it'll stay on the phone. No? I don't think so. You want them for yourself? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. Ooh. Ah, poked myself in the ah. Ooh. Hey, Abby, hey! Welcome to our practice game! Jeff, hold the phone!
I think Monica beat me, everybody. Oh, no. Look at them and their score. Oh, she got me by 10. Congratulations. Oh, no. Go on, Oh, another one of us got best in vehicle. That was a fun ride, everybody. Thank you so much for, uh, for riding that with us. It's rather Can difficult. Less? Thank you. That was so much fun. <laughs> You're just saying that because you won. Yeah, Jeff Davis says I cramp my forearm every time on the last game. Hey, Norm Daniels. Hey, Norm. Hey, Mike. Up over here. Gotcha. You want? Yes, please. Thank you. Alexander Lee, Monica won. What do you get? Uh, 134,000? I don't know. I believe she got 134,700 and I got 124,200. I did win. You did win. Thank you. Shannon Blankenship. Shannon says, hey, my pack of cheeky little monkeys. I'm back. Heard my wife chatted for a bit. Well, at least you met my normal half. Should I be scared? Well, it depends, Shannon. It sounds like you were quiet for a little bit, so if there's EMTs on their way, <laughs> you know why. So long, partner. theming with uh, Toy Story Midway Mania? Yeah.
But yes, Shannon, it was a pleasure meeting Tana. Yes. Hopefully you didn't get in too much trouble there, Shannon. Hopefully. Oh, here's the popsicle wall. This right. is like a very popular photo spot. Instagrammable wall. So let's exit this way, but then let's just go to the break. <laughs> this is a very strange route. Shannon says, EMS, apparently I did miss something. You fall off a ladder once and all of a sudden I'm a risk factor. Oh no. Alrighty guys. And we're back out in Andy's backyard. It's a little bit of a busy one today. Over here at least. Oh, Jesse and Woody are on break. They are indeed. Guys, well, let's go back towards uh, Mickey and Minnie's. Let's see what the wait looks like. It says it's a rather long wait. Howdy! Being here in the backyard with all of you new toys. This is definitely my finest hour. Welcome! Would you like to grab a coffee before we get in a long line, maybe? Yeah. Yeah? See about getting the coffee. Coffee sounds so good. Oh yeah. After that workout at uh, Toy Story Midway Mania, I'm about ready to take a nap. So let's get some coffee in our system. Baker 92 says, Shannon, I used to be a firefighter, and it sounds like you'd be one of our regulars. <laughs> well, thank you for. Uh, being a part of uh, the emergency management uh, personnel out there, Baker and Honeydew, we appreciate that. Oh no. I'm surprised they haven't replaced the uh, Willow and National Treasure uh, posters up here. Yeah, me too. Tom, I did ask why I was on the ladder anyway. I said to find the other ladder, of course. <laughs> the higher you are, the easier it is to find. She called me a mental patient. Oh, no. Leslie, hello, welcome in. We rode in hey, the Leslie. first car on the Slinky Ride a few weeks ago. That's awesome. That is really cool. All right. Hey, Brianna. Hey, Brianna. All right, guys, we are here at the Joffrey's location at Hollywood Studios. We are indeed. You can find the round em up latte. It's one of my favorites. Ooh, are you going to get the round em up latte? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's my favorite. That's right. <laughs> at Joffrey's. Yeah, it's a good one. Chef Condon says, I can't believe you guys are still awake. <laughs> we can't believe you're still awake, Chef Condon. Yeah, Chef Condon. You were in there with uh, Ron just like we were for 24 hours. That's right. 
And you were working while you were doing it too. Yeah. How are you doing today, Jeff Conlon? Hey, Jeff. You know what you want? Yeah, just my regular thing. Hi. Uh, for the round of latte, how many pumps of the syrups do you guys put? Uh, we put two ounces. Two of the... Uh... Two cookie butters and two ounces of the lunch. Okay. okay, I'll do that. Um, if I could get it ice. Uh, oh, no. Um, can you do frozen? Frozen, frozen. No, we can do frozen. Can't do frozen. Oh, you can do frozen? No. Oh, I got it frozen at... Disney Springs. Right. The only thing we can do is frozen the cappuccino and add the flavors to it. Ah, oh, gosh, that's probably what they did. I'll get it iced. Yeah. And no um, no cookies or sprinkles. So I just whipped cream? No whipped cream either. <laughs> no toppings. <laughs> I made that really do complicated. Do you want an extra shot of espresso in there? Or? Oh, yes, an extra shot of espresso. Because I remember I got it last time. I was like, I don't taste the coffee. <laughs> And then if we could also get a frozen cappuccino dream, no whipped cream, and extra shot of espresso. Thank you. Oh, Jeff Conan says I got some sleep. Heading back in for work now. Goodness gracious, Jeff. Oh, good luck, Jeff. Have Thank a great you. day. And that's awesome, Alexander Lee. It was Alexander Lee's friend's uh, Manu. I'm sorry? Uh, it was Alexander Lee's friend's Manu's birthday. <laughs> That's awesome. Two days ago. And JB says Manchester United versus Chelsea next game. That's awesome, JB. Good luck. Good luck, JB. Hope your team does well. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, thank you. Shannon says, oh, I love me a coffee. 98% sugar and 2% coffee. For me, it's more like eating it than drinking it. Oh my goodness, Shannon. Thank you so much. All right, and now we're here to wait for our coffees. Yep. If you stand near the window, you get a lot of uh, cool air conditioning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's a hot one today. Yeah. I think it's gotten hotter it, since earlier today. It feels much hotter. Even though it says it's dropped a degree. <laughs> really? It does. I don't know, with the sun, I guess it's very intense. That and we enjoyed the air conditioning in uh, Midway Mania. This is... That would be you, I think. Me? Yep. Does this have an extra shot? It's a round amount with an extra shot and no toppings. Yeah, and there's an extra shot of espresso in here? Yes. Okay, awesome. Enjoy. Don't taste the extra shot that we paid for, but she said it's in here. Do you want another one? No. Do you want to... Huh? Do you want me to try it? Or... You could have some. Thank you. Yeah, it's not very strong. It is stronger than last time we got it, though. I don't know. Thank you. See, that's got an extra shot for sure. Yeah, the, you could definitely see it has an extra shot there because it's really dark on the bottom. Right. Oh, our audio is out of sync. Thank you, guys. We'll uh, do a quick refresh. We can share mine as well. Thank you. No, mine tastes better than that. Oh. Oh yeah, that's like straight coffee. That's awesome. 
Here, you want a napkin around it? Sure. Did you show it on stream? So guys, this is the frozen cappuccino dream with an extra shot of espresso. It uh, mostly tastes like espresso right now. And this is the Toy Story latte with also an extra shot of espresso. I don't taste it, but I mean, I definitely taste it on Eric's. Well, that's all you can taste on mine. <laughs> yeah, that may be all we can taste in his. Do you want a napkin for your cup? Yes, please. Thank you, you. Got it? Yep. You want to hold it like that? Okay. Sure. Thank you. And one second. <clears throat> Shannon says, well, girly, I've been getting in trouble with the uh, Mrs. Long story, but I'll get out of it eventually or move into the shed again. <laughs> mm. That's some Here's good coffee. Good. Oh, yeah. Here is definitely full of a lot of espresso. Oh, yeah. I feel like a combination of our coffees. Yeah, it would, would be, be perfect. perfect. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Simon Rogers, happy Sunday. Hey, Simon, happy Sunday. Thank you, JG. Thank you so much, JG. Oh. I thought he said it sounds great, but it sounds delicious. Ah, yes, it is delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely so good. Just what we needed. Absolutely. Joshua says, hey, Park Hoppers, hope you guys are enjoying your day. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Hope you are as well. Absolutely. Welcome back, Marty. Marty's like, Hello, Park Hoppers. Glad to be back. Glad you got coffee. Yes. And thank you for the reminder. Yep. And thank you for coming back. Good yes. to see you again. Hey, Riley. Hey, Riley. Hey, Jacob and Kelsey. Hey, Jacob and Kelsey. Oh, um, I think we've done uh, Rise of the Resistance, Muppets, uh, Toy Story Mania. Uh, now we're going to get a line for Mickey and Minnie's. Yeah, it's going to be a wait, but... Yeah. I think it'll be a good ride to... Uh, close out the day with, right? I think so. Got to get our Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway in here. Hey, Vicky Gillespie. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Lima. Hey, Lima. L.S. Winters, first time viewer from North Texas. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, L.S. Winters. Riley, uh, this is Orlando, Florida. Yep. Walt Disney World. J Jacob and Kelsey says, I was about to ask if you would ride Runaway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that we are out. in line for it, for sure. It is a beautiful day here. It's a little warm, but it's beautiful otherwise. In the shade, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it based on the uh, umbrellas, but there's a lot of wind today. Mark Rogers. Hey, Mark. Hey, welcome in. Yeah, of course, Riley. Yeah, anytime you guys have questions, feel free to ask. We'd love to answer. Definitely. Especially if we can. If we can't, then we'll let you know about that too. That's true. Well, we're very glad that your wife likes you, Shannon. <laughs> that is a good thing, Shannon. That is a very good thing. Yes. Charlie Arnena says, those two fans look like Mickey ears. They kind of do, don't they? Yeah. Yes, thank you so much, Baker and Honeydew. So welcome in, everybody. If you're new here, we are the Park Hoppers. We're Monica and Eric. We go live from the park several times per week. We'd love it if you'd please consider subscribing. It is, as Ron on the go would say, free to do. 
Thank and you. all it does is it helps uh, YouTube to let you know when we're going live and when we uh, post things so you can see it. And also it helps us grow our channel. So we really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Also, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that like button. Once again, it does just help us out and is, once again, 100% free to do. So thank you, guys. So Spectre, Voyage of the Little Mermaid uh, is closed and has been closed since the pandemic, and we have heard nothing about what will happen with it. Yeah, there's been no word that we've heard anyways about it. I do hope it opens back up. Mm -hmm. Because I miss it. Me too. Can I have you hold this a second, Anna? Yeah. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Jacob N. Kelsey says, what are your greatest challenges you face being streamers? Um, I think we maybe have the same answer. Um, streaming, I would say our biggest challenge is just always keeping signal. Because um, signal is different every time. Like, you think you can be able to memorize the locations where signal is spotty, but it's always changing for some reason. It is so always changing. I think keeping signal would be our biggest challenge. And if I could give like a second and third runner up, I would say the next one is the sun. Oh, the sun? <laughs> here, in our, here in Orlando, Florida, here in Orlando, yeah. It, especially during the summertime. It's going to be fun, guys. It's going to drain us pretty fast and uh, we'll be pretty loopy by the end of these live streams. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was pretty loopy without coffee. <laughs> Me too. It's very important to stay hydrated when you're here in Florida, whether it's the summertime or not, honestly. Um, but especially when it's the summertime and that sun's beating down on you, it's, it's very important to stay hydrated. And then the last thing I would say is not having enough hands. We always wish we had more hands. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Shin. <laughs> you want to read Shannon's? Shannon says, okay, you said any question? How come my boss yells at me when I say I'm not interested in coming in today? Well, well Shannon, Shannon we did say any questions. That's, that's, that's accurate. And I would assume that the answer is because you're such an incredible employee that uh, your boss misses you when you're not there. That's, that makes sense. Oh, right? yeah. I think so. He misses you, so, you know, that's why. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. I can see that. You like hanging out with you, Shannon? Marty M says, how about standing for so many hours or oh. carrying that lightsaber? Oh, yeah. Those, those are pretty challenging as well, Marty. <laughs> we agree. Like, the walking isn't as bad as the standing. The standing is what really, like, I think is more intense. Yeah, if we could just walk all day long, I think we'd be better off than uh, when we're standing for multiple hours. So Egg 663, we met uh, in a South number Florida. of years ago in South Florida, yep. Yeah. Many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> it wasn't many, 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 many years ago. It was more like many, 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 many years ago. Hey. Anyways. Many, 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 hey. many years ago. <laughs> hey, Grateful Dawn. We are enjoying Hollywood Studios today. We're currently in the line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We are indeed. Sean Crazy Pants says, how do you stream? What's the technique on streaming the entire day? Um, you just go. Yep. <laughs> uh, so we stream using our phone, our personal phone. Oh, yeah. And uh, we use an app that helps us to connect to YouTube. And we use a gimbal to keep you guys steady. Yes. And we keep it all connected. And yep. We just go and show you guys as much of the Disney fun as we can. Exactly. As far as the entire day, we have many batteries. Yeah, many <laughs> batteries, exactly. And if you're at all curious about anything we use, uh, we link everything actually down below yep. in the description. Actually just got a new backpack in order to help uh, on days like this where we're carrying the saber. And, uh, oh yeah. We'll have to link that down below eventually as well. Yep. But we always test out our stuff to make sure that we're happy with it before we put it in the description below. So you guys know that it's stuff that uh, we actually use, that we actually like and enjoy and use. 
Yeah. So that uh, you know that it's not just like some random stuff that we found and we're like, hey, use this. <laughs> Jeff says, that sounds like too many, too many. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon says, well, I suppose that will have to do. I'll just call him from now on and keep him company instead of going in. Oh, but he might miss you in person, Shannon. And he says, must be pretty heavy. Oh, yeah, always heavy. It's a good workout. It's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> I wonder if the lightning lane is just heavy right now. Might be, yeah. Beaker and Honeydew says, Park Hoppers, what do you like to do when you're not in the parks? Um, um relax. <laughs> eat, sleep. We enjoy eating and sleeping. Eating, yeah, eating and sleeping is good. Resting uh, is also good. Resting is great. Uh, Ooh, you know with our new passes now, we can do putt putt. Ooh, we could do putt putt. We should do putt putt sometime. Yeah. I'm terrible at Papa, so that would make good, uh, good, viewer, <laughs> good viewing, right? What? That would make good viewing. <laughs> oh my gosh, Andy. I think Andy knows us. Oh my goodness, Andy, do you know us very well? <laughs> Andy, Andy says, says go, go to Costco. Costco. Yes, we do go to Costco. We do enjoy going to Costco. And I love Costco. Eric, I don't know how he feels about Costco. I don't mind going to Costco. It's once we leave with all the... Um, I don't think he's a fan of the Costco haul. It's, it's the month's worth of groceries and waters and everything that I get to carry. Yeah. <laughs> That's where things become less enjoyable. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, King Game, we're good, how are you? But yeah, I really want to take advantage of the pup pup, the, um, we got now with our passes. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Shannon says, well, heavy equals quality. Uh, maybe not with me, but with most things. <laughs> I feel you there, Shannon. We're inside the queue, everybody. We are indeed. It's a good sign. Hello, Abigail. Welcome in. Hey, Abigail. Oh, yeah, Disney does have a lot of good deals with Costco, Andrew. They do. How are you doing on your drink? Uh, almost 20 I actually something. beat you this time. Yeah, you did. That never happens. I like the movie posters. Yeah, I do too. I like how they're always uh, for an actual short that you can see on Disney Plus too. Yes. Yodelberg. Did we see that one? Yep, the three-legged race. Oh yeah, I remember the three-legged race. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Can you help? Mm hmm. You want to finish up? Yeah. Good. Can you throw mine away? You got it. Though. Sorry about that. I was just getting a brain freeze from it. Well, here. Thank okay, you. gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh no, now you had it. All right. Thank you. That was just very strange. Normally, when we um, get copies at Joffrey, Eric finishes so much faster than me. <laughs> Potato Land! Potato Land! 
That was very cold. It was very cold. So you get an idea of why I wasn't drinking it so quickly. Really? That's fair. Welcome in, Baron Ross. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Guys, there will be lag in this queue, just bear with us. We'll get through it pretty quickly. Leo Epcot fan says, as a Costco fan, I recommend the little white stable fan by Wuzu. It's the best oh. fan ever. You know, Leo, I've heard really good things about that fan. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Um, but we've not purchased it yet. <laughs> but yes, that is a very good fan. Christopher, yes, Magic Kingdom tomorrow, guys. Magic Kingdom tomorrow. We're excited. We are. Lots of parades, cavalcades, Casey's Corner Piano, all the good things. Absolutely. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> Shane says, I love Costco. 200 rolls of toilet paper for two people. I bought my last pack in 2007 and I have so much left. That's awesome. So, MacDog, uh, Disney Pal from Boston. We're probably going to wrap it up today after uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Uh, we're going to be out and about a lot tomorrow for Magic Kingdom. And we just want to make sure that we're ready for that. Oh, that's, that's cute. JJ told Shannon that, uh, where was it? Hey, on my phone. Uh -huh. You can look it up on my phone. Gotcha. Let's see. I'm missing it now for some reason. For? Basically, JJ was saying that uh, Shannon's wife was a pleasure. Oh, gotcha. And uh, Shannon was saying, uh, thank you, JJ. She's my Disney magic. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Yes, ma'am. And JJ Mickey says, can't be that many, Monica. You two aren't even that many, 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 many years old. <laughs> oh, no. Disney pal from Boston says, I wanted a Disney name to chat. Yeah, that's a very awesome name. It is. Oh, Vicky has a Sam's Club, not a Costco. Gotcha. They're pretty much, I think, very similar. They are very similar. Because they're like big... Uh, warehouse. Warehouse. Uh, grocery yeah. store type places. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Kurt. How long did this wait today was going to be? 60 minutes? I'm not sure, but this is moving right along. And that was I'm a much shorter wait. We just wanted to end the Hollywood Studios uh, day with Mickey and Minnie's because, you know? It's a great ride. So, hello, everybody. Hey, guys. Before we get into Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, if you're new here, once again, we're the park hoppers, kind of been there. We go left in the park several times per week. Uh, we were live uh, five times this last week, so yeah. we'll be live a lot next week also, guys. We love doing this. We love taking you guys along with us to Walt Disney World. If, you'd like to be a, if you would like to be a part of that in the future, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. I said future twice. I'll work on it. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button. It really does help us out. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, right now we're at uh, uh, YouTube for Park Hoppers. Thank you. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I have that logo somewhere on my phone. It's on my lock screen. <laughs> All right. We are... I guess. Oh, hey, Mary. Hey, Jesse. I might be on. I might be behind. Uh, last comment in chat was Disney Pal from Boston. Whatever you like, I just wanted you to know it was me. Yeah, my chat stopped. Okay, guys, oh, we're gonna reset. Just gonna restart it real quick before we get on the ride so that we have no issues on the ride. Hold on, everybody.
All right, everybody, we should be back. Thank you, everybody, for letting us know that we are back. Thank you, guys. And, of course, guys, if you would check your live indicator, which should be, like, right around here right now, um, make sure that it is red, not gray. Uh, if it is gray, go ahead and refresh, and you should be able to be back live with us again. If it's red, you are as live as you can be. I guess let's turn it back around. Great to see you. You can stand right there by the other person. And we are back. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, everyone. Hey, Paul Freed. Hey, Paul. All right, we're just waiting now to get into the pre show room for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I always love this movie. The pre-show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do feel a little bit bad for Pluto, though. Oh, yeah. But have you guys noticed throughout the um, ride, you'll see Pluto with the picnic basket, and he actually takes it through all the rooms, which is pretty cool. As far as I'm concerned, Pluto is the hero of this story. I agree. I mean, he keeps the, best, the picnic basket through tornadoes and lava and the ocean and the desert. You the, name it. Like, smasher, compressor thing. That factory. Mm -hmm. He's a good boy. Yes. this here Loki motive? She was a uh, Jungle Cruise skipper. Oh, yeah, maybe. She's saying hello to a baby right now. Hi, baby. Oh. Hi, baby. I would hold you, but not so loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the hidden Mickey is, I think, in the next section? 
Or is it on this wall? I think it's on one of these walls. If it's not yeah. this wall, it's the other wall. Mm -hmm. It's around here somewhere. It either says Mickey or Disney. I can't recall. Yeah, I'm not sure. Tell you what, I appreciate the air conditioning in the cartoon, though. Yes. <laughs> oh, honey, if I can have you hold the gimbal a moment. Yeah, I got it. hand sanitize. Okay. Thank you. Maybe oh. it's on this wall? Maybe. Do you guys see the word Disney or Mickey anywhere there? I think it might be the next section. All right. Thank is, you. It, is it over there? Or is it here? Uh, it's around here somewhere. We could ask the cast member if True. they know. I just can't remember right now. I'm I guess not so. seeing it. Maybe. I feel like we missed it again. I feel like we missed it as well. <laughs> Maybe it was on this wall before, though? No, 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 it wouldn't be there. I would ask the cast member, she's busy with those guests. Gotcha. Well, oh, we'll find it. We'll We'll find, well, it next find time. it next time. Oh, wow. You see Shannon? Shannon says, fun story, JJ. Tana and I dated for one summer back in 1985. 32 years later, my mother reintroduced us. We've been married for four years next month. What? Right? That's amazing. Sometimes when things are meant to be, even with uh, overwhelming odds, they'll find a way. That's true. Yeah. That's really awesome. Tell you what, it's a good thing that uh, Koofy is the employee of the month. I'd hate to wonder who uh, is not the employee of the month on that train. Hey, Mike D. Mike D says, hi, Park Hoppers. Good day. Just tuning in for the day. Hey, Mike. Always a good day here at Disney with you guys. Absolutely. Poppy, my girl says, Eric, switch that topic real quick. <laughs> I did not. What, Poppy, my girl? What? For starters. You noticed, too? Tana <laughs> had to wait 32 years. That's many, 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 many years. That's fair. Shannon says, thank you, waiting for a Hallmark movie offer. <laughs> I like that idea, Shannon. Who do we cast as the uh, as, as Shannon and Tana? Um, let's see here. Well, we should ask Shannon who, what actors they would want. That's fair. Shannon, who would you cast as yourself and your wife? Yeah. And if you guys want to throw in some options in chat, the more the merrier. Yeah. Hey, Camilla. Hey, Camilla. Yeah, we're rounding off our awesome Hollywood Studios day here on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway because what better ride to end a Hollywood Studios day, you know? Absolutely. We started with Rise of the Resistance today. We did Muppets. We enjoyed uh, Batsu and Jenny's Backyard. Toy Story Mania. We did uh, Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. We did uh, Beauty and the Beast Live on Stage. We've had a very full day. It's been a really great day. Hola pasajeros. Durante nuestro viaje en tren, para su seguridad, mantenga oh, sus manos thank you so much, pies Egg. Thank you, Egg. We certainly will look up. Mickey and Minnie in the wood green. Gracias. 
We've seen the one in the wall somewhere, but we can never remember where. I just remember after the pre-show when you go, like, in here. Yeah. I remember you see the word Di the word Disney, I think. Oh, look at Jesse's sticker. Some of us are Jesse's sticker. <laughs> Mary says, I need to find a guy in the 50s for me and my love of Disney. Did we get that, Mary? Shannon says, sad part of the story, sort of. My mom died one year after we were together again. To remember her changing our lives for the better, we got married on my mom's birthday. Oh my gosh. Well, what that's, a great way to honor her. That's beautiful. Hey, James. Uh, Marcello, this is going to be uh, the finale of our Hollywood Studios Day here on uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yep. Hey, I will revive. Oh, this is your wife's favorite ride ever? That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, we were just like, we started too. Thank you. I was just like, we started our day with Rise of Resistance. We should finish it with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I agree. Two epic, epic, classic rides here at Hollywood Studios. For sure. They're both trackless ride systems also, which is a really neat and geeky thing to say right now. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Oh, not tonight, Disney Mom 19. Hey, Marguerite. Oh, it's up there is what they were saying. On the wooden log? Or is it back? I don't think it's back here. I think it's up there, right? I think so. Oh, maybe it's up, up on the roof? Maybe. Hey, Kathy. All right, guys, let's enjoy Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Go. All right, we should see oh. Mickey and Minnie somewhere. Oh, there's happy people with yep. us. Oh, cool. Yep. Do you want to sit over here? No, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Here we go, everybody.
Come on in. Don't be shy. That's right. Everyone to your positions. Ready and... One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, excellent. You're all waltzing so beautifully together. Oh. Uh -huh. Now, let's... My guided tour. Hope you had a relaxing ride around the park. And thanks for sticking with me. Hey, picnickers! Told you nothing was gonna go wrong. <laughs> Okay, Egg 663, reread the article. Uh, let's get that through there. All right. Egg 663, reread the article, and it turns out it's Disneyland that has the words above. Oh, me... gotcha. Step aside here for a second. Yeah. Get the bag fixed. See what I can well, do thank you guys so much for enjoying Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway with us. We hope you enjoyed it. Absolutely. All right. You doing okay? Yep. She got the bag back on. Okay. Good to go. Sharon says, it was great. I was doing dishes. So can we go back and try again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Let's, let's see how bad the wait is. <laughs> oh, we're sorry about the lie, guys. Sometimes that ride is a little difficult to stream. It so. is. Hopefully you guys were able to see most of it, though. I think, uh, I think for the most part, it turned out pretty well. Oh, and here's the store. I wonder if there's any new merchandise. You want to check it out? What's this lanyard right here? I saw it and I was like, what uh, you is like that? the colors. They kind of sealish sea green. Is this Moana themed? It kind of makes me, oh, it's Ariel. Oh, it's Little Mermaid? Uh-huh. How weird. Maybe it's like because of the new movie coming out? Maybe. I like this uh, Pixar. All right, guys, so this is going to be our merch time for the stream. <laughs> I like all these Pixar. So you get the lanyard and the pins. That's pretty awesome. All for $34.99.
I like this phone case too. That's a nice phone case. Isn't it? Nothing can stop us now with Chibi, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. Pluto's like so proud of like, because he was the hero, you know? Ooh, I like this one. That has a 3D effect on it. Oh, it does. It's really cool. <laughs> Again, Pluto looking so proud to have saved the picnic basket the whole time. Because he did. <laughs> JJ Mickey says, welcome to the merch portion of this Sunday Park Hopper stream. Exactly. What else is there? All the cooling towels in case you forget yours. We actually, um, the ones we purchased uh, are down in the link below if you guys would like to check those out. The ones at Disney cost $16.90 if you're curious. They have pink and they also have a navy blue. Now to be fair, they do have Mickeys on them. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. I was just letting them know um, how much it was here in the parks. That's true. And this is uh, if you want for your water bottle. You know, I wonder. Yes. It's got a clip here. That's know, correct. A caravan. <laughs> uh, it clip, it's pretty solid. I wonder if this would fit around the, uh, the lightsaber, the uh, blade. You know what I mean? To kind of clip it onto your backpack. Hey, your backpack, anything really. Just thoughts. It's good to see you, Jane. Welcome in. Great to see you, Jane. Oh, Joshua says Disneyland's a little different at the end. Yeah, we've not been to Disneyland just yet, but once we have the opportunity, we definitely will. Absolutely. I love these magnets. So you have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Might you have to get that one. I might have to get this one in the future. I How love much? that one so much. These cost $14.99, guys. These are, you can put them on your car, on your fridge, anything that's magnetic, really. It's been a while since hey, I've seen Bowser. Hey, Bowser. Oh, are on your bus, exactly. Or was he saying the cooling towels? I'm not sure. I think sure. the, the caravanet. The... Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, it's an up pin. Oh, Pierce, we think that was a little mermaid lanyard. We think so. Oh, the up with Doug and Kevin. Oh, that's cute. And baby Kevin. <gasps> baby Kevin. Oh my gosh. Kevin's a girl? The <laughs> lieutenant's like, OMG, I want. Oh, then nothing can stop us now, Magnet. Yeah. I will realize this. Let us know. We might join you guys there. Probably no time soon, but uh, whenever we do have an opportunity, we would love to uh, visit all the Disney's, you know, all over the world. Absolutely. That's, That'd be really neat. Uh, goals, you know? Absolutely. Bo Peep My Girl says, any angel and stitch pins? I'm not on this side, mm -hmm. but we'll keep an eye out. Did you show the ornament? Oh, actually. Oh, there's Stitch right there with 2023. Good eye. I like that you can see the parks back there as well. Yeah, that's really cool. I stick his tongue out. <laughs> and that one is silver, which is $11.99. <laughs> Charlie Orlando says the coffee definitely seems to have worked, right, guys? For sure, Charlie Orlando. It does feel like it. 100%. Marcella says, I think Monica and Eric need a coffee refill. <laughs> <laughs> I love this mini. I, I feel like I can relate. Like, she's so happy shopping. I'm always so happy <laughs> shopping. Not to say I'm not happy normally, but shopping, you know, just a little bit of extra joy. I don't know. Shopping is one of your happy places? I think so. Let's see. Oh, they have the 100 pins here. That's pretty awesome. Oh, and for those getting married, or they've gotten married, that's really nice. Really festive <coughs> and celebratory. I saw that pin behind the 100th pin, and I was like, oh, she's certainly going to grab that one and show it. Yes, <laughs> you are correct. He knows me well. Dapper Mickey and Dapper Donald. I that's love awesome. this one. Yeah, whenever, when we first saw this one, we are like, yeah, we love this one a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a random Ursula pin. That is kind of random. I think oh. she's supposed yeah, she's to down, be down there, there, and then this is what's there. Oh, I like this Mickey. Balloons. Walt Disney World with the balloons. I will revive. Says yeah, that's our plan too. Visit all of them around the world. We've been five times to Disneyland, in California Adventure, and twice to Orlando. That's awesome. That's fantastic. They still have some of the fiftieth pins. That's they surprising. Do. And of all of them, Chip and Dale, I mean, that's an awesome pin. Did you see the 2023 with all the villains? Yeah, that's a cool pin. Like, the fact that you have six villains on there with the year, that's pretty cool. 
It immediately makes me think of uh, Fantasmic. I think it is all the villains from Fantasmic, minus uh, oh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame one. Oh, I don't remember his name. I can't remember his name either. But uh, this he's not in the Disneyland version of Fantasmic, though. And, and this, this is, is, the, Disneyland this is the Disneyland Castle. So is it kind of like the Fantasmic for Disneyland on a pen? That's very possible. Are the powers of Mickey's imagination strong enough? And brave enough? Oh, look how cute. My happy place is with you. Aww. That's really cute. That is really cute. Shannon says, I've been to all the parks. Well, on YouTube anyway. Does that count? I think In so. Way, yeah. Look at this skateboard. All the wheels don't spin. Oh no. That's fun. <gasps> I love this one. Oh, that's really cool. Right? Look at this mini one. Oh my gosh, and it, she's got both her cat and dog. That's awesome. Where did I get mini? Oh, right Patrick, there. Julian, welcome in. Patrick says, hey, good Patrick. afternoon. And five minutes until evening. Yeah, you're totally on it, Patrick. Eric, Monica, and the rest of the Park Hoppers channel. Welcome in. And Egg663 says, I bought my wife that Happy Place pin last month there. Oh, that's, that's awesome. such a cute pin. It really is. I like this one as well. Yeah, it's this like, one's really pretty. It has like a stained glass effect on it. So it's the rose from Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Yeah, that one's one of my favorites uh, from the Beauty and the Beast collection there. Beaker and Honeydew, I've not seen any Muppets here though. No. I, I was not. keeping an eye on. Elsa and Olaf, I love the colors. Yeah. It's a really cute pen. What else do we have here? Oh, oh Muppets. Oh, 100th anniversary. <gasps> what? This one sticks out a lot. Let's play, Sarge says. So that's for the uh, Toy Story Land? Yeah. Toy Story Land. The claw. The claw, I have been chosen. Slinky Dog Dash. Slinky Dog. And then Toy Story Land with Woody. That's awesome. That one's iconic because it's the entrance to Toy Story Land. That's true. They have a bunch of the um, Haunted Man. Um, I'm sorry, the Hollywood Tower Terror. Oh, yeah. I really like this one with Pluto. And they also have one with Minnie here. Oh, it's like a pit. Wait, Pluto's supposed to be here. And then this is the Pixar lamp and ball. That's awesome. That's really classic. It is. These two here are for the um, rock and roller coaster. That's really cool. And then, of course, you have all the hundred ones, the platinum. I think uh, we might have to get this pen if we ever get to 23,190 subscribers. Oh my 2319. goodness. 2319. We got a 2319. <laughs> That's hilarious. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. Yep, with the... That's fun. Mm -hmm. Louis, hey! Welcome in. We're doing awesome here at Hollywood Studios. How are you? We hope that you and the family enjoyed your Hollywood Studios Day the other day and double fantasmic. Absolutely. Thank you so much for hanging out with us the other day, Louis. Yes. This one's for Teacher's Day 2023 with Yoda. It's a pretty cool pen. Yoda looks a little strange, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, I really like this one. The Batman Who Laughs. Welcome in. Welcome in, the Batman Who Laughs. This is one of those family pens, but it's uh, Jabba yeah, the Hutt. Yeah, it's, it's for Star Wars. That's awesome. I like that one a lot, too. We don't have that one. That one is $17.99. Wow, we went out of focus, like, immediately. There we go. The camera was just like, I don't want to tell you what price it is. $17.99. And then you have Sully and Roz. That's pretty awesome. Always watching Mazowski. Mazowski. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you have uh, Star Wars? Oh, it's the uh, droid that... Oh, hey, oh. pew pew, that's awesome. Sorry. I was going to say, that's the droid from uh, the video game. Gotcha. 
I was just trying to put them back really quick. Just, oh, no, good. it's okay. Don't just kill them, though. <laughs> and then this is BB. I like this BB-8 one. That's oh, really that's cute. cute. Oh, the head of the droid can move? That's really awesome. No, you're good. The head of which droid? Of the... Uh, this one? The BD-1, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fun. That's pretty nifty. And then on the bottom section, they have a bunch of Alice and Wonderland pins. It's always two time. Tweedle Dee and Tweedle Dum. Yeah. They're very cute. You want to go show the rest of the store real quick? Sounds good to me. Oops, sorry. sorry about that, honey. Oh, I like that sweatshirt. The blue one? Yeah. I don't know how good that would be for Florida. No, 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 I would suffer, but it's neat. This one's so cool. Oh, Mickey, Minnie's Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway with balloons. Does it move? No, it doesn't move. Probably better that it doesn't move, though. I thought it, I thought it would move, though, because you I know the so balloons. Yeah, I thought it would kind of go back and forth about there. It was $17.99 for that one. Okay, this one we might have to get in the future. That's a pretty cool I like thing. that one. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome date night pen. Best date night ever. Mickey that's really Minnie's cute. Really, really. Look at this. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my goodness. This hoodie for little ones with Goofy dancing. Yeah, and it's got awesome. a hoodie. With music notes on the sleeve. I like this long sleeve shirt, but not super great for Florida. Right. Unless it's cold out. That's true. This one's fifty dollars. Ooh. It's really nice Is though. Look material? at the sleeve. Yeah. Oh, it's got the yeah. The you sleeve. see it, Mickey and Minnie's, and then on the other, it says Runaway Railway. Yeah. I like this one a lot. Oh, oh, that's the back. What's the front? Okay, hold on. Shannon says, "Funny thing about the future, it just happened. You should get that pen." <laughs> Look at the front. Isn't that cute? That is super cute. Okay, I I might want to get that in the in the future. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, see I don't I don't like when the, when it's this material inside. Yeah. Because it's not really great in the washing machine. True. Typically. True. Hey Julia C, she says that's super cute. And hey Josh R. Hey Julia. <laughs> hey Josh. Congratulations on home ownership, Josh R. Yes, congrats, Josh. These are the power lines that everybody is talking what? about. It's supposed to be like a, it's a sour lime taffy. That's Like cool. a chewy thing. And it's lime flavored. Hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, like, I don't get the hype, but it's really fun with power line. Right? Power feel, line. No, like, I'm saying power lines. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like it's a, uh, it's a candy you buy and you just don't ever open. You just uh, hang on to, so 20, 30 years down the road, you know, your kids, your grandkids, whatever, are like, what's a power line? Probably. <laughs> and then they also have lolly, go what are these? Golly pops. Gorsh. Oh, because it says different things. So this one says gosh. What's this one? Hot dog. And, oh, oh boy. boy. Wow, these are very large. Those are large lollipops. That's fun. And then you have a bunch of coins. It says milk chocolate coins. Oh, Scrooge McDucks. Oh. That's fancy. Oh my goodness, Chi Chi Mickey says, Josh R, I took a two hour nap on the couch after uh, <laughs> the 24 hour stream. My goodness, Chi Chi. You can to say park hoppers. You can do that with a Twinkie. Not sure about a power line. That's fair. <laughs> Twinkies would survive the, uh, the apocalypse. That's fair. Of course, if we learned anything from Zombieland, if you want a Twinkie in the apocalypse, you're only ever going to find zebra domes. Yeah, and then these say stand out with power lines. Stand out. And then you have like the ride vehicle. That's, That's fun. Cool. It's oh, come on. I was like, where's Goofy? Oh, the doors should open in the back yes. so you can see Goofy. I, that would be so cute. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. How is camping? Yeah, I wish the back opened to show Goofy. That would be really cute. Oh, not Zebra Domes, JJ Mickey. I'm so sorry. Uh, 
Goodness, what are those? The, uh, what? the pink coconut ones. Snowballs. Snowballs. Snowballs, thank you. $34.99 is a Scoofy plush. That's silly. <laughs> that is silly. I like it. Shannon says, don't ever put those chocolate coins in your pocket. I accidentally mixed them in with my change and broke a tooth on a quarter. Oh, no. 400 likes. Thank you so much, everybody. That's amazing. Thank, Thank you. you so much, guys. Oh, yeah. oh no, this is not working with me. <laughs> I was going to do a quick video, but I'm like, work with me, chocolate coins. So if we get a bunch of these chocolate coins, can we fill a room with them so we can dive into them like Scrooge McDuck? Or would that uh, still not work out very well? No. It seems like they'd be a little bit softer than actual coins though, right? <laughs> Bicker and how did you say, Shannon? Yep, you'd be a regular for our fire department. Love you, face. Oh no. <laughs> Oliver Garrett says, hey guys, hey Oliver. Hey Oliver. JJ Mickey asked, have you guys ever had a zebra dome? As coffee lovers, I'm sure you would love them. A zebra dome? Yeah. Oh yeah, we have had them once. Yes. Um, I I thought they were good. Don't get me wrong, guys. I This is an unpopular opinion. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Should I show yeah. you as you give this unpopular opinion? We can turn it around. That way it's, it's on tape. On tape? On oh tape. goodness. Now I'm nervous. All right, guys. Hold the tape. Let's see it. Okay. Zebra domes. Unpopular opinion. I find like they're okay, mm -hmm. but they're very overpriced. Yes. Well, like, I think that's a pretty popular opinion. I don't know because a lot of people really love zebra domes. They love them. And I, I love coffee, but honestly, I didn't taste much coffee when I ate, when I ate them. Maybe they make them differently every time, but the, at least the batch we tried once did not have much coffee flavor, if any at all. It was almost like having a coffee that was mostly cream. It was like a creamy chocolate flavor. Yeah. I tasted the white chocolate shell inside the cop like the chocolate mousse. Mm -hmm. But like, I had no coffee flavor for me. Yeah. So I don't know. Let us know what you guys think about zebra domes. But that's my unpopular opinion. No, I agree with you. <laughs> so I stand with this unpopular opinion. It is now popular. You, yes, you we second this. Oh, you second this unpopular? We second this notion, this, this unpopular opinion. JJ Vicky's like, oh no. <laughs> Alright, so let us know what you guys think about Zebra Domes as yeah. we continue to show some merch. Yeah. And if anyone's in here who's new, who doesn't know who we are, we're the Park Hoppers, Monica and Eric. We go live from Park several times per week. We're here at Hollywood Studios today, kind of starting to wrap up the day and everything. Yep, we just uh, figured wrap up the uh, evening with some merch. Some shopping. Shopping. So with guys, the Shop yep. hopping? Shop hopping. If yeah. you guys like hopping around Walt Disney World with us, please consider subscribing. We'd love to be able to take you guys along with us again in the future. Thank you, everybody, on 400 likes. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's get back to the shop hopping. Yes. Oh, JJ Mickey's like, I <laughs> KJ, Dino, Chrissy Jane says, greetings, park hoppers, and all in chat, and silent folks, too. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, Chrissy Jane and Michael, we miss you guys. When are you guys coming back? October is too far away. Absolutely. What is this thing? I think that might be a bubble blower. Or if not a bubble blower, maybe a uh, one of the misters or steam things. Mm. Oh, it's a whistle. It's a whistle. That is an enormous whistle. <laughs> this is a whistle. How does that, like... Whistle? Oh, you have to, like, literally... Blow into it? Blow into it? I think okay, so. interesting. Wow, I've never seen this thing before. Right? Like if I saw this out and it didn't have a like sign on it, I would have no clue what this is for. Oh no, Shannon says, oh don't go. Tana will make me do housework if you do. Oh no. <laughs> All right, and then you have this. It's called a glow spinner. But I was like, does it glow? I wish it gave air. It, it doesn't, doesn't give it air? It doesn't give oh, air. No. On either side? Oh, there's, there's like, a very small a little, amount of air. But it's not, it's not intended to be a fan. It's intended no. to be a glow spinner. I see. So it, it's a glowy thing. The blades are just too small to, yeah, it's just not going out very much. Well, that's cool. It is cool though, for sure. I mean, that'll entertain the kids well for a little bit, right? That would entertain me. It <gasps> what was is entertaining this? Me. <laughs> water game. What? Oh, you gotta put water in it. Oh, okay. There's no water in it. That's fun. I remember these. These were great. This is 19.99. Wow, I've never seen this before here. We don't come into the store too often. We don't. That's really fun. Get into the Chubby merchandise, guys. Look, a little baby onesie. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> if we ever adorable. have a little one one day, um, the little one would need this. Yes. Oh, of course. Yes. Hey, Lynn Butler. Hey, Good Lynn. Oh, and this is uh, Strong Crazy Pants. We use uh, Streamlabs. I get really frustrated with it. <laughs> yes. Agreed. This is a cooler, guys. It costs. Is there something crawling up my arm? I thought I grabbed it and something was crawling. Like a oh, spider. I think it might have been a bubble. A bubble. Thirty-four ninety-nine for this cooler. Gosh, what could possibly go wrong? This is really nice, actually. Do you mind holding my phone and I can I it. open it up and show everybody inside? I wonder no, how go. insulated it is. <laughs> Lynn says, y'all can't finish. I just got here. Oh, no. Oh, that's really good. Oh, okay, and then this goes down, so... It's got a solid bottom. That's solid nice. Base. I'm going to put it back up so that way it goes properly back Makes into the... Wow, that's nice. I like this. Shannon Blankenship says, I had a water game like that when I was a kid. That was back when the Red Sea parted. Man, I mean... <laughs> But this is a pretty advanced, like, large water. Like, this is huge. It is huge. That's going to be a lot of water in that thing. And then this is a picnic blanket, I think. Yeah. Wow, this is heavy duty. How much is this? $60. Okay. And it looks like so. Uh, right there. Right there. Very cool. Oh, that's a new mug. That is a new mug. Is that even a mug? <laughs> Um, I would put maybe like little flowers in it. Yeah, it's almost more of a vase than it is a mug. Yeah, I would use it as a mini vase. Right. And it costs twenty four ninety nine. Oh, well, that's. But I like that you have Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto and Chuby up here. That's very cute. Then the chain front, and then the other side. Very Just cool. Trying to be careful with that because it is glass. What? The Chuby bag. The Chuby bag. Oh, look, it's right there. So it could go on you like a crossbody. It costs $70 because it is lounge fly. Uh. Lounge fly, like my backpack. So the one downside with that bag, is that? Uh, this is the, like a suede. Yeah, suede. So that's the only negative I would say, like the only negative about this bag and the only reason I don't own it besides the hefty price is because this is suede and it's not super easy to keep clean. Right. But the rest is like the pleather normal material for lunch fly, just not the face part here. It's still very cute. Oh, it is super cute. Oh, look at these. These are fun. So these are the classic Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway characters, and they don't have a price. Oh, no. But that is fun. Especially like if you have little ones and they want to play with them in like the hotel room or something after a long day at the park. That's always fun. <laughs> Shannon says, let's go back to Batu and buy another giant flashlight. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be really cool. Then me and Eric could have one each. Yep. For well, right now, we share one. Exactly. Very expensive. It's expensive and heavy enough that we can easily share. <laughs> yeah. But one yes. day, one day we'll each have one. But till then, we will gladly, gladly share the one. Uh, how cast this one. Exactly. And the day that we uh, get one each, uh, we'll have to have Monica build one, I think. <gasps> I think that'd be Need cool. a build one? I think so. I think, I think, the, pre really I think the pre build ones are like nicer though. Uh, it totally depends. It, if you. Uh, <gasps> this is cool. I like this. Build it yourself. There's something special to it, you know? Welcome in, Erica Meadows. Hey, Erica. I like this. This uh, the balloons and the Mickey and Minnie hot dog and this other balloon. Like all this kind of like sticks out a little. It's a little three D. It is. Forty dollars. That's a pretty cool shirt. I really like this shirt though. This is very well done. Mhm. Mm and the material is like pretty sturdy. Yeah. So. This is for um, a woman's one X. Gotcha. Is that a vinyl? Yeah. Huh? It's a well, vinyl. it's a it's a. Um, but it's raised. Yeah. It's embossed. a raised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You kind of see it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. exactly, Kirsty. Embossed. Embossed. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Kirsty Jane. Thank you. I like this hoodie, too. Oh, the hoodie? Oh, no. It's that I don't like that. It, I don't like that inside part. Like, I have a few sweatshirts like that, but only because I didn't know it was like that. I get you. <laughs> That's $60. It's also very short. Oh, look at this one. 
This is an immense mop, $29.99. This is like, okay, out of all the t-shirts, I would probably want, no, I would want that one. Oh, well, that's a very good point there, uh, Andy. Andy what says if Monica buys a pre-built saver, she should get the Ahsoka hilts. Ooh, that would be pretty cool. Then you walk around with two lightsabers. Oh, yeah. One slightly smaller than the other. That would be awesome. Oh, look at this remote control. You have Mickey and Minnie in the back. Pluto in the front here. The car, the remote. How much is this? This is no price. It's not free, guys, but no. <laughs> the price is not on it. <laughs> right. That's really fun, though. If I had to guess, $30. No, I would no? say 45 45 Because you get three characters. OK, now I guess I got to go find out. OK, okay let's I find, find out. Hi, can you tell me how much this is? 50? 15. I was oh, 50. 50, gotcha. yeah. I was five right. off. The train, the train is 150. 150. Gotcha. Thank That's you. also remote control? Yeah. That's awesome. Hi. Thank you. I was five dollars off, guys. You were five dollars off. I was like, no way, because you get three characters, the car and the remote control. That's a lot. Okay, let's see what the train does. Okay, that one doesn't do anything. Let's go to the next train. Okay, that one doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, it sings. You can kind of hear it, right? Yeah, a little bit. It kind of plays the song from the ride. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That I wish, does awesome. it have characters? Oh, okay, awesome. You can, like see it, you can see it pretty much here. You got Chuby, Donald, Daisy, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy. And the remote. Okay, this, I would rather purchase this over this just because you get all the characters and like the full size train. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Baker, you're not to say park offers. We need that remote control for Cooper. <laughs> Which one, the train or the car? Shannon says, I can relate to Ahsoka's lightsabers. I have one leg shorter than the other. Relevancy, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is a really nice water bottle. It's plastic. It is $22.99. Not dishwasher safe. Uh, not microwave. Well, we're not gonna well, put it in the no. microwave, but. Um, why is it not dishwasher safe? Let's find out. I don't know. Because this says 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. Maybe. It gets hotter than 122 <laughs> degrees though in the dishwasher. Yeah. Oh, what a shame. Yep. That's really cool though. This mug is heavy. This is 24.99. It is not dishwasher safe and it's oh not microwave goodness. safe. So that's a no from us, but uh, it is really pretty. Yeah, Becca, it, it very well could be the print on the outside that's preventing it from being dishwasher safe as well. Oh, very good point. Yeah, that would easily, easily come off in the dishwasher. Great point. $35, Mickey, for the fireworks. Oh, there you go, for the 50th. That's really awesome. Interesting that the 50th um, plushes are still here with the 100 ones. That is interesting. <gasps> I love this Mickey and Minnie. How much are they? They are each $34.99. So you'd have to purchase each separately. But that's really cute. That is. <gasps> I wish they made this for adults. Oh. I don't like the inside though. Oh it's so no. Sparkly. The inside's that terrible material. I, I don't do well with this material in the dishwasher in the um not the dishwasher, that would be bad. Yes, that would be uh, bad. in the uh help me. And the clothes washer, the yeah, washing the, machine. The washing machine yeah. and dryer. Like I don't, I don't know. For some reason, I have bad luck with this kind of materials. Yeah, there there's, becomes a lot of lint. Oh, this is so pretty. I would assume that the look uh, at this iridescent glitter. Yeah, I would assume the glitter would probably come off in the washer also. Yeah, but it's really pretty. They would become less shiny over time, and I, all of your other clothes would be shiny. You know, what would be cool if they had a T-shirt like this for adults. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're not gonna have one because, like, they've already released all their hundred merch. But like, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Christy Jane says, "I would like big girl sizes and lots of children in pet clothes." We completely agree. <laughs> Shannon says, "Dishwasher? What's wrong with that? I wash my shoes in it. It's sparkling." <laughs> And then here's the 100 Spirit jersey, in case you guys haven't seen it yet. I like this one. I'm still just like, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it still. It's very cute though. It is. Yeah, like this will, I have other Spirit jerseys that have this kind of material on the Walt Disney World. And it doesn't really hold up well. You just gotta be very, very careful. Right. This retails for $90. 
I don't know, maybe it's all these um, stars that are just a little overwhelming for me just personally. Too much going on? I, I think it is too much mm. for me. I get Everybody you. has different tastes, you know? <laughs> Mary, Mary Kalila was like, I love it, and then, ouch. <laughs> Oh, everybody has different tastes. Well, no, uh, when she heard the price, she was like, oh. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm mm -hmm. like, I like it, but n like, n that price is a little too high for my liking. Yes, Christy Jane, we wash all of our clothes actually inside out on Gentle. <laughs> we do, Christy Jane. Thank you. $30 for this t-shirt? That's a pretty one. That is. Because all the silver is kind of metallic. And then it says Walt Disney World here on the sleeve. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the back though. And the last item of clothing that we'll be showing is this long sleeve shirt for the hundred. It retails for fifty dollars. Also, the silver here is metallic. -y. You can see it with the sunlight. And I think the sleeves say Disney. Hundred years of wonder. Um, only on the left sleeve, though. Yeah, it says uh, Disney 100, 100 years of wonder. That's yeah. pretty cool. And nothing on the back. Alrighty, Christy guys. Jane says, motherly interference. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christy Jane. Oh, that's an awesome hat, though. Which one? The one that uh, gives you the goofy ears. Oh, okay, because I'm like, I'm seeing so many hats right now. This one is $25. Goofy. It's embroidered here in the back. That's really nice. It is. The goofy ears, of course. Mm -hmm. And the runaway railway. We yeah. also have this mini hat. And guys, this will be the last stand that we'll be showing before we uh, go in front of the Chinese theater and wrap it up for today. Yep. I like this little flower, it's so cute. It is so cute. This is adult size, $30. That's pretty cool. Would I look silly with this? I don't think so, I think it's cute. I think it's kind of cute too. <gasps> but these are my, f I, I don't own these ears, guys. This is on my list. Let's fix that bow. Don't just grab one. No, it's pretty. You got Chuby. You got Pluto, you got Mickey and Minnie in the car, Runaway Railway, Goofy saying the end, like, and then this, I don't know about this material, that's the only reason I guess maybe I haven't purchased it is because like I know this won't do well with like Florida weather, but um, right. it's really cute otherwise. And then you got Chuby, Chuby. he's so cute, and then yes. I love the picnic design on the ears, <laughs> and then it doesn't overwhelm the design. It's really pretty. It is. And if you guys are looking for classic Mickey Mouse ears, these are pleather. Pretty cool. They are. And then you have Mickey Mouse's signature right there. And that's embroidered in. So that's going to be there for a while. Now, something I've seen um, that folks do, which I think is a very great idea, is um, if you like the characters and the character signature, you get a metallic Sharpie. You bring one to the park with you on these ears, and then you could have them like sign the ears here and there. And also if you want to personalize with anything, they do have uh, locations in Disney World that they personalize uh, things such as the ears, ornaments, and whatnot. Yeah. For a fee, of course. Oh, they still have these. I never understood these. Kind of a denim, kind of bleached denim look to them. Hey, Micah. Hey, Micah. From South Williamsport, Pennsylvania. That's awesome. Shannon says, I think you should get the Hat Princess Bucket Hat. It would look great. Which one? The Hat Princess Bucket Hat. Uh, I think you should get the Hat Princess Bucket Hat. You oh, are Princess Bucket Hat. I'm Princess Bucket Hat. Right. Okay. Which hat? Oh, the Minnie Mouse one. The Minnie Mouse one. <laughs> gotcha. But then it wouldn't be a bucket hat. That's true. It needs to be a bucket hat, right? And then I guess maybe we could add ears. Oh, they have the classic Minnie ones. Those are very nice. Oh, no. That one's going to fall. I'll Good show catch. this one. <laughs> This is a fuzzy. This is like a sat satin kind of. It's not satin, but it, it kind of has that uh, feel. Yeah, kind of a thin nylon of some sort, maybe. Yeah. So very classic Minnie Mouse. Very much so. And then we'll show the last row. Yep. Sounds before good. Before we head over to the Chinese theater. OK, so it's still the classic runaway and then these. Oh, these are the adaptable fit headband ones. Ah, okay. So they have this here, so it's adaptable. Makes sense. Yeah, the sun, Truby, and adorable. Like, how cute is that? Mickey and Minnie. 
and this design on the back. That's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. I think we saw everything that there was to see in the store. I think so. And if not, we saw a lot of it. Right. If we missed something, we're sorry. I don't think we did though. I think uh, I think we did a really good job covering everything in that store. All right. So that's, that's really the awesome. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway store, guys. Yeah. You can find it as soon as you get off the ride on your right hand side. All right, guys. Let's come out here. Oh no, stay out of the sun. The sun. It feels so nice in the shade. The sun. Let's see here. Lynn's like, how else can we stall the park office? <laughs> <laughs> is that what Lynn is saying? Kirsty Jane says, Ron walks past at 40 miles per hour. Guys, oh, I've got the cord, like, not extending as far as I'd like. There we go. So guys, I guess I lugged around the uh, lightsaber a little too long today. Uh, we didn't end up going back to Batu. We'll have it next time and hopefully in a better situation than this box um, protecting it and everything. Kirsty Jane says, I think they must ride swirling saucers 15 times. Oh, but we did Toy Story Mania. We did do Toy Story Mania today. We did uh, Rise so of the Resistance. We did Toy Story Mania. We did Muppet Vision 3D. We did yes. uh, Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. We Beauty did and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast Live on stage. Yes. We had a really good day here at uh, Hollywood Studios. Yeah, we did a, a lot. It was, like, this is our first Sunday in the park, guys. It was. Yeah. And uh, I mean, we did walk on Rise of the Resistance. Like that, that was, was incredible. That was amazing. We started the, the stream with the Rise of the Resistance walk on because we're like, where's the line? And right. we kept going and going and like, where's the line? That was amazing. I've never seen that before. Almost. Yeah. Muppets is a given. Exactly, Christy Jane. Uh, Got to do the Muppets. And then Miller says, is the lightsaber in in case anyone starts trouble. Yep, it's there uh, to give us light as the lantern if we go out in the dark, and it's to thwack anybody that gets in our way. <laughs> JJ Mickey says, thank you, Park Hoppers. Great to see you streaming on the weekend. Yes, it's different, right? Mm -hmm. It's good, right? I don't know. I think, I think so. Like, it's really nice to be here on a Sunday. It is. It feels so nice. Right now, yeah, with the shade, like over there, the sun, but like here, the shade. Sharon says, I had a great time today. Thank you. Let's just do the rest of the 19 hours now. 19 hours? Oh, no. That's Ron's thing. Guys, if you don't know what she's talking about, Ron on the go finished a 24-hour live stream where he legitimately did not sleep. He did not stop. He barely ate. He uh, went around uh, Walt Disney World. Well, no, he actually ate. Well, he did eat, but barely. But he ate on, he for, ate on stream. He ate on stream for eight minutes, guys. Yes. Eight minutes. Yeah, so he, he started off at 12.25 on Saturday at Magic Kingdom, and he ended today at around 12.40. So a yes. little over 24 hours. Really incredible. Something you guys um, should go check out for An sure. amazing challenge. It's a two-parter on his channel if you guys want to check it out. Pretty epic. It was epic. So guys, we had a lot of fun here today. We're going to take off. We're going to be back at, Holy well, not Hollywood Studios, at Magic Kingdom tomorrow at 2 p.m. We hope yes. all of you will uh, join us over there. We always enjoy the Magic Kingdom. We yeah. enjoy having you guys with us. We're going to start at 2 p.m. We're going to have a great day. Hopefully, we'll ride Tron and do some other things like that. We'll see. Yeah. I don't think I'll lug around the lightsaber around Magic Kingdom, though. No, lightsaber only comes to Hollywood Studios. Right. We stayed up pretty late, James, for sure. So, guys. Yeah, I don't, I think, was it 4, 5? It was 5 something. Like 6 a.m.? I don't know. We're like, okay, Ron, we can't keep our eyes up anymore. Good luck. May the force be with you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much. Once again, for anybody who doesn't know who we are, we are Erica Monica. We're the Park Hoppers. We go live from the park several times per week. We're going to be live a bunch this week and next week and the week after that 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 and the week after that. And the week after that and the week after... If you'd like to be a part of that, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us on any days that you can make it, at any time that you can make it. Yes. The best way to support us is just to subscribe and watch and enjoy it with us, because that exactly. really just means so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for over 400 likes today, everybody. We really appreciate that. Have a wonderful day. Yes. Uh, and uh, just a special shout out and thank you, first and foremost, to our amazing, amazing moderators, who we cannot do this without. 
at all. So thank you, moderators. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, Patreon members. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, now, what is it called? YouTube members? Yeah, YouTube, uh, channel members. Channel members. I'm sorry, I wasn't sure what to call no, it. No, you're good. Thank you to all those who are channel members now as well. And thank you for all the support always. Uh, we hope to see you tomorrow at Magic Kingdom. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, everybody. And thank you for the super chats. And thank you for the super chats, yes. Thank you, guys. Have a great evening. I actually can see Oh, nothing, when will so. we, Plymouth Rock says, when will you be on? So we will be back tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. I don't think we got, did we get a super chat today? Yeah, we did. We got one? Yeah, and Sabrina B joined our membership. Oh yeah, there it is, Todd. Sabrina. Uh, Todd donated $5, uh, five dollars through Super Chat. Okay. And Sabrina B became a member. Gotcha. So thank, thank you, so you much, very much, Todd, and thank you very much, Sabrina. We very much appreciate that, guys. Um, but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow at Magic Kingdom at what time? At 2 p.m. 2 p.m. And guys, at the close of this live stream, 2 p.m. EDT. At the close of this live stream, guys, it'll send you over to that live stream which Marty M has just put into the chat. If you don't mind, we'd really appreciate it if you go over there and just pop that like button, hit that like button. Even if you don't plan on being there, we'd really appreciate it. It does help us out so much to get going yes. and just enjoy the day so thank you guys have a wonderful wonderful afternoon evening whatever time night or whatever time it is where you are be safe be good don't do anything we want to do or do everything we want to do i don't know depending on how you want to look at it just be safe have fun relax enjoy the rest of your day or night yeah, or, or night yeah okay now we're getting it too confusing thank you guys we'll catch you tomorrow <laughs> Have a wonderful night, everybody. Thank you again for all the support and for everything. So we'll turn it around and leave you looking at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway for yep. a few minutes. And we hope to park up with you again soon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone.